the first C we look for is colour. The colour of a gemstone refers to the hue, tone and more importantly, the even saturation of colour within the gemstone. This can make the difference between a poor stone and a highly exquisite gem, being highly sought after by collectors worldwide. Secondly, we look for clarity. Almost all gemstones can contain some type of inclusions formed during crystallisation. Some gemstones, for example emerald, are acceptable with inclusions, whilst others are graded on how clean they are. Then we look for carat. Gemstones are always measured in carat weight when cut and commonly in grams as rough. Additionally, there are 100 points in every carat, so every point counts. And last but definitely not least, we come to cut. The cut is the most misunderstood and underestimated of the four C's. The cut should never be confused with the shape of the gemstone. This is the three-dimensional form, whilst the cut is the direct manipulation of the gemstone's facets by the lapidrist. Many factors are involved here, including the vision, experience and expertise of the lapidrist. If accomplished perfectly, a truly exquisite gemstone can be crafted into a work of art. Well, uh, good morning, good afternoon. How are you? Frankie is uh, yet to sort herself out. <laughs> Hang on, have I got mascara on? Yes, everything's fine. I wouldn't have been able to go on. I was like, stop! I look a bit bare in the face, don't I? You can't, well, you can't, you've got to have off days, like I said to you earlier. I was on factor 20, wasn't I, Glenn? Yeah. On the uh, looking rough scale. Oh. Now, what <laughs> I've travelled it on, I have to say. Hello! <laughs> it's designer inspiration and as you saw it's with Frankie she's not ready yet she'll be ready what she'll be ready in her own blinking time thank you very much is what when she'll be ready won't you Frankie <laughs> Got microphone on. Uh, look at these little bad boys Wah! they're huge yesterday I took the I took the blue ones home it could be my smile look I love them. I love them. They're coming up for you in today's show. I have also got brand new shell pearl. I've got an incredible uh, pearl. Can we start with this? Look, I think this would actually make an incredible belt buckle. These are, um, now we said yesterday, Philip and I said yes uh, today, these are the best ones so far. Well, they're green. I, I did take those ones home yesterday. Look at these. I wish we'd had these um, probably a month ago so that we could have made loads and loads of Christmas pieces with it. Is it too late? No, it's not too late if you're a quick maker. They're amazing, aren't they? Look at that. I love these. I think they're fantastic big tables for design. Aren't they? Um, oh, look, and look, it's like when you cut a tree. But this has got druzy in the middle, little sparkly druzy. Look at the edges as well. You can see the host rock on the outside. You can see all of the rings. I wish I had a, a cloth to wipe them with, but I don't. Look at that one. Do you know, um, we went on holiday to this incredible, like, lagoony thing, and there was a cave. It was this shape, and you, um, you, you boated it through the cave. Amazing, like, paradise. It, it reminds me of that. 
because these are natural, because these are amazingly different to anything else in your stash. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks. Always on hand with a cloth of which to wipe up with our Glenn. He's a domestic god. We did have a, it was in his pocket. Like I said, Glenn is always there with a tissue up his sleeve. Now, have a look, because they're mahoosive. I think when you've got something like this, you are going to use it as a, as a table for maybe wire work. You know, I actually think these are quite ornamental. I quite like the idea of making wind charms with these. I love the idea of putting them on display in the home. I love the idea of making maybe a, a, a frame for these to stand up. A kind of Michelle Naylor style. Uh, I love the idea of using the smaller ones and doing some wire work naming across there would be nice, wouldn't it? Personalise these perhaps. They're charms. There's so much you can do with these. Now Frankie, um, I know that you, one of your areas of niche is steampunk. I know that you're a, a, a jewellery maker of many talents. So what would you do with these? Well, I've had some very similar, not this colour. Um, and what I did was I made um, a tree of life um, pendant and sort of put that behind it. It wasn't to be worn, it was to be uh, in somebody's office. So ornamental. And so I made it ornamental, but I put one of one of those sorts of, it wasn't a green one like that, it was a different colour. Um, but yes, it, and it looks lovely behind the tree of life. So as a backdrop, mm. so that leads me to ask whether these would work very well in hats. A yeah. big statement piece, maybe. It depends how heavy they are on a hat. Well, I think you could use the last one. I don't think the, they're heavy. The, no, the smaller. I, I, I've not felt those. So the the, sm the smaller one, it's quite thin, isn't it? Yes, that, that yes. might well go really well on a hat. Yeah. This would be great for soutache as well, I think. Has it got a hole through the middle? They've got, not through the middle, either end. Right. And they're connected. Look with a large jump okay, ring. Okay. Because uh, one of mine actually had a hole down through the middle oh, okay. so I, I, I utilize that to fit the, the tree of life onto but I was just thinking when you said steampunk I was thinking you could actually put um, you know cogs gears the clock face yeah they go very like well. it's a nice surface yeah. to do yes, things like is, that yeah. with isn't it you always get five pieces you're guaranteed at least 700 carats and at 900, 900, no, at nine pounds and 95 pence, you're getting superb value. That's just two pounds per slab, which means, I mean, think about this, jewelry makers, if you were to go into that big craft store, how much would you pay for one big piece of ornamental agate like this? I think the best part of £10, in which case this whole strand would indeed be about £50. So I think you've got superb value here. KRG P20 is your item code, £9.95. Loads of these are gone. Loads of you on the phone. Helen's got two. Danny's got two. Uh, Jury Maker in Yorkshire's got three. Laura in Derbyshire's got two. Hazel and Ivy, you've got yours. Helen and Margaret and Susan, you've got yours. Carol, you've got yours. Gemma in Somerset, you've got yours. Uh, I have got Dr. Sarah. Wah! Hello, Amber. Oh, no, Andrew. It said Amber when I was over the other end. It didn't really. It was my eyes. They're old, you see. Hi there, girls. I said it like that because you put it in capitals. Jenny, you could not look, look anything but lovely no matter what you're wearing. And whoop, whoop, Frank is on lovely as ever. Andrew, thank you, my love. Thank you, Andrew. He's from Hertfordshire. That's where I live. Oh, That's there where you your go. son lives. Yes, it well. is. Yes, it is. Yeah. So we've got our Hertfordshire crew behind us today. Yeah, Thank you. Definitely. Well, Hertfordshire massive, and it's not too far away from Essex. Jenny, I could use them as drink coasters. Well, if you live in Essex, there's a lot of champagne going on. Yeah, you could, absolutely. Absolutely. I love Essex, I do. I went to South End on Sea for the first time ever in the summer, and I really liked it. No, it wasn't the summer, it was the last holidays, whatever that was. 9.95 KRG P20 is your item code. Look at the colours, they're amazing, and I love green. Green's the colour. It's the colour. It is. Green and red together, gorgeous. 0800 644 655 or the w's.jurymaker.com. Did you watch the jewel? Did you watch the jungle last night? I've got a friend who's exactly like that, Kendra. I was a bit. I was a bit. Um, bit sad about Tinchy going because it's still Mel's still in there. Where are you, jewelry makers? She does nothing but whinge. Are you watching it? I have got the count. She all she does is whinge, and she's me rude. She was rude to the Vicky. Anyway, Edwina, she's a one, isn't she? Now, 
I'm going to give to you. We've only got 10 of those left, and there's more unchecked baskets. Uh, Mavis, Jury Maker in Merseyside, Linda, Jury Maker, oh, Jury Maker in Merseyside, so too. Paula in Essex, Deborah, and Margaret in Merseyside as well. You've all got unchecked baskets, so you could miss out. I've got brand new shell pearls for you. Now, if you go on Gemma Crow's um, page now, you'll see. A, a piece of jewellery very with these in very similar because we had them last year I haven't seen them this colour this year and she used the boingy boingy connectors that we haven't seen for god knows how long the boingy boingy connectors and they're in a, like a pewter sort of gunmetal colour oh my gosh amazing because when Gemma first got these she was like what am I going to do with these they're bright can they be a bit too overpowered well they became her favourites have a look and I can speak on behalf of my fellow Gloucestershireian have a look. Aren't they fantastic? Look at the colour. Tangerine. I love these. And you might be frightened of that colour because, it, yeah, it's bright. Yes, it is. But think about putting it with antique bronze, tones it down. Think about putting it with black, keep it zingy, but Halloween-y maybe. But think about like Gemma did, pewter. Looks amazing. Or that gunmetal colour. Looks wonderful. Frankie, these are new. Are you frightened by colour or are you an embracer of colour? No, I love colour. I love colour. Um, particularly red and orange. Um, I, I, I've not actually made anything with, with anything that bright, I must admit. However, I was just thinking um, with one of the, the first kit we've got today, the, um, I'm not really sure what they are, Jenny, but the chain. You've got it there, the chain with the... Um, the made-up chain, Ooh, the brass yes, chain. Yes, 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 yes. You know, yeah. how, how nice would that be? Oh, with the jasper. Is it jasper? Yeah, I wasn't sure. There you go. Now, that's See, really that's autumnal, lovely. actually. Yeah, I think that's really lovely. Bit of antique bronze in there, maybe some lovely deep sort of brown polymer clay, that brick yeah, absolutely. as well. Because the nice thing about that chain is um, uh, it's not double wrapped, it is just looped. And so you can yeah, take I it apart. Yeah, I noticed that. And you can take it apart and you can add it to, you know, stones uh, otherwise. And that, that would be lovely with that. Now you're also getting the chocolate shell pearl. We haven't nice. seen these yet this year, and it, these are late coming in actually. So grab them now because they should have been in in autumn, but they weren't. I've got them for you now, and I think they're absolutely amazing. They're eight mil rounds. The orange are ten mil. So we've got a nice natural graduation if you're going to uh, be doing some focal pieces. Now, I, I'm about to give you another colour which I just love. And I do think, you know, I was talking about gun metals. Oh, Let's just take this one away a minute. Now, that goes very well. And actually, it makes that, that orange look very classy. It makes it look very classic. And I love that. Do you? I think that's fab. I love that colour. I think they're fantastic. What are we calling them? Cayenne frosted shell pills. And then I've got... Cyan. 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 Is that how you That's say it? That's a colour, yeah. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? I didn't be... I was... Cyan blue. I did not have the intelligence to oh, read Jenny. it out properly. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cyan blue. You know, every day I... Uh, disappoint myself with my own oh, stupidity stop uh, it stop it it's stop true it. i sometimes think i'm really clever uh yeah i was brilliant at being clever today and then you know reality will bite me on the end of the stop nose it. be like no you're still thick you're not. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i don't forget there's nothing more annoying than someone who's quite thick who thinks they're really clever at least I know my own limits. That's true. Have a look. Is that a hint, Jenny? Is that a hint? <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, I'd never be so rude as to hint. No, I tell you. Say it straight. <laughs> I'd say, oh, Frankie, we're on the same wavelength. And you'd be like, oh, OK. Oh, right, fine. No, you're clever. Do we have to be? You're a teacher. You're fine. Leave it there. It's not all about you, Frankie. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Have a look, you've got the royal blue. Yes, you're going to have to control both of us today. Yes. Sorry. He, think, he said it's like the Alan Carr show. Have a look. <laughs> we're just happy. We're, we're getting there, aren't we? Yeah, we're trying anyway. Very trying at times. <laughs> Drunk, happy. Oh, <laughs> potato, potato. Uh, now, you've got these lovely royal blues as well. You can't have a laugh, jewellery makers. Uh, ten millimetre rounds. These are lovely. We've got a gorgeous lady binding next door doing a workshop. They're all lovely in there. So they're all in the Christmas spirit. Got a bit of Mariah Carey blasting out. 
uh, all I want for Christmas. Now, these are wonderful for your Christmas stash, but they are wonderful for any kind of stash. I always think that royal blue colour is going to go really well with your New Year's Eve pieces. Who can believe it's going to be New Year's Eve soon? Stop Crazy. It. Stop I'm just going to go to bed at 8 o'clock. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna work against New Year's Eve this year. Yes. It's not going to control me like it has for the past 34 years. No. I'm going to take the reins. I'm not going to go out. I'm not going to acknowledge it. Now... <laughs> I, I would put all these colours together. I think they are fantastic. Look. No one here has got any plans, have they, for New Year's? I'm literally going to go to bed and my treat will be an early night. You know you're getting old. You know you're getting old when you're looking forward to a lion. 11 .95. Oh, I will watch Jules Holland. Yeah, who am I? What are you thinking? I love Jules Holland. I would like to marry him. XGGC08. How much were they? Eleven ninety-five for all four. Brilliant. Jump rings, jump rings. Now, Philip, I can't hear you very well, my little toot sweet. Hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Now, here we go. Large jump rings. These are brilliant if you've just started off uh, with with your chainmail because they're larger they've got a larger circumference which means they're going to be less fiddly and i know this sounds silly but if you've just started chainmail i would go for a precious metal first because they're so soft silver is easy to manipulate it's much more malleable gorgeous aren't they nine mil now you're getting 20 of these so if you do want to make um a chainmail bracelet get a couple of get quite a few packets but don't forget you don't have to have an entire piece of chainmail, small section will be fine. Did you get yesterday's closed jump rings? Because these are the open ones that will go really well with them. Now, I think these are essential if you are doing really high-end pieces. If you want to get any of your pieces valued, Frankie and I are big Fleur fans. She's all over yeah. these because they're solid stones and we can get a higher price tag for them if you're selling them on. And look at the class of the gold. You can see this gold looks expensive. Sometimes we buy gold on the high street. I think, personal opinion, it can look a bit, a bit too brash. bright. Brash. brash is the exact word. Yes, brash. thank you. Um, it's too brash. It doesn't look like. And, and you know what? I think with this, you can see the softness, the richness of gold. You can see why we fell in love with gold and called it a precious metal. You know, it looks attractive, our eyes are drawn to it and we, and it's warm and it's glowing and, uh, and I think it does look expensive, yes it does. And I think, put it with pearls, you can bunch these up as, so they, they take away sections in a bracelet, maybe half a centimetre, and I'm seeing multi-buyers already, they are open, they are a, a large circumference of nine millimetres. Carolyn Falkirk's bought two, Carolyn Oxfordshire's bought three. Jewelry maker in Cheshire, jewelry maker in Greater. Uh, five ninety five. Oh. I'm sure I did twenty yesterday for nine ninety five. You better be quick. You better be quick. It was Martha. Jade. It was. But this one's Phil. 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 Give us a text in. Let us know what you're up to today. Have you ever bumped into anyone famous? We want to know. Six zero triple seven. Have you? Have you? You Glenn ever hung out with anyone famous for the night? Just hung? No? No. Have you ever met anyone famous? They've been all right, you know? Nothing? Uh, I met Bob Carroll G. Bob Carroll G? Mm -hmm. Did you? Where? Some uh, charity thing. Some charity thing. You went right north and then some charity thing. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I don't know why I went eh. <laughs> but then everyone always goes gar when they're talking to me. I actually did make that noise naturally the other day. I went. Did I say oh, are? <laughs> <laughs> and my friendly aunt went, you actually who are then? And I went, I went, oh, are, it's cold. <laughs> and she went, you who are then? And I was like, oh, I did, didn't I? It's in me. It's in me, gar. <laughs> uh, 595 JPG P20 is your item code. Make sure you are checking out baskets for this one. Loads of you are. Hello, Lasvinda. Hello, Sue in the West Midlands, who has two. Andrea in Kent 
has five. I think you're doing that for chain mail, aren't you? Uh, what a great value. And, 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 you know, think about, do you ever buy gold or silver on websites where the price tag fluctuates? Funny that, isn't it? I've never, I never actually had to do that, but I know that a couple of you told me you have. I've got my dress on in um, back to front, just so you, I, I am aware of it. I couldn't be bothered. I said to Glenn, I knew when I looked in the mirror, so it wasn't right. I was like, oh, my label, I've got my dress on back to front. Oh, you can't see, but it scoops of it down. I can't be bothered to change it around. Fran in London says, when I was very sick, it's like, <laughs> well, we've all done it, haven't we? No. Sometimes I wear different boots. I'm like, rather well, the same size, it'll be fine. When I was a very small child, Richard Attenborough bought me an orange juice. <laughs> oh, Fran! Oh, That's nice, isn't it? Richard Attenborough bought you an orange juice. He looks like a really nice grampy, Richard Attenborough, doesn't he? Be a mm. nice grampy. He's the guy that does the animals, isn't he? Was. The what, sorry? Isn't he? Is, no, yes, it's him that doesn't. Is that not the one that did? Um, um, da, 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 da. He did uh, dinosaurs. Yeah, Jurassic uh, Park. But I think he's. I think he's but passed he away recently. Like... I think did he's he? passed away recently. Yeah. Who am I confusing him with? The guy no, you're not. That is the same guy, but he's he's brother. he's passed on. What's his brother called? Richard. Richard. David. What's his name? David. David. He's David. 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 Oh, were they brothers? Yes. Oh. With a name like Attenborough, yeah. <laughs> it's not a usual name, Jenny, really. Th this is exactly what I mean. I am stupid and I, I can't control it. That's I never knew they were It's just not I knowing. I thought they were the same person. That's really sad. They look like each other or not? No, not really. No. Same voice, nothing? No, not at all. I've been confused all these years, see? <laughs> well, that's just ticked off the list to one of my Jenny Cleary's confused about. So that's out of my head for today. There you go. A little bit smarter for it. Now, <laughs> I'm going to give to you. I love you. You're so funny. <laughs> Do I get madder by the day? Because people keep telling me that and it's really going to me head. No, I, I, you're, you're as I remember you when you were doing your... You were going to do the evening show and you did those really good... You and Carol did those really goofy... Um, Oh, yeah, um, do you remember you know, those VTs? Yes, the VTs. And I was wearing a pantsuit. I, that was a bad choice. <laughs> I looked back at that and went, who wears pantsuits? It's not Dallas, Jenny. <laughs> no one told me. Thanks a lot, all of you. That, if Dion was here, she'd have been, get that outfit off now. You're wearing a backward dress on TV. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're wearing nice. a backward dress on, on TV. <laughs> no one said, well, thanks. Well, you said yourself about the dress, so that's all right. Yeah, but you the pantsuit really. at the time I thought was great. No, it wasn't. We didn't really see your pants. It was just sort of... <laughs> no, but you know, like a, a trouser suit that? is what I'm saying. In America, they call it a pantsuit. <laughs> a rephrase You know, that. like it's an all-in-one. It was like purple at the top and then just went into... changed itself into trousers via the... via the... Um, a, a belt as a disguise, but it was all one. Like a baby grow, really. But a bit clingy. That's I don't, what I was I don't remember wearing. what you were wearing. I just remember thinking, I can't wait for this girl to go on and do this oh, show. Oh, thank you. You are lovely. I know. Pay <laughs> me later. <laughs> <laughs> now, shall we I stop told stop? you these were black agate. We had an argument earlier. <laughs> well, really, an argument, Phil. I'll never argue with you because I can't. Because oh, you dear. look too much like a young. A young Gary Barlow. Have a look. Oh dear. Little rounds, and I tell you, four mil rounds are brilliant for beady beads. And Frankie's going to show us some lovely beady beads later. Four mil rounds in black. I mean, they're just so useful. And I hate saying that about any gems, but they are so useful. So I'm going to give you those uh, an essential element, and then I'm going to give you something that is a luxury. So this is an essential strand. Should we bring in some luxury? Let's bring in some luxury. Talking of luxury, I didn't have a shower this morning. I had a bath instead. Because I had an extra 20 minutes. So I throw that out there. Now, have a look at these. There's your luxury. Beautiful garnet. And that red is outstanding on this garnet. Look. Can you see it? I mean, let me move away with my black. There we are. Look at that intense red, it's so rich. Thanks, Glenn, for getting so close. Look at that. 
It's a what red? A Merlot, Merlot red, did you say? Yeah, it's got legs, that, and it. <laughs> it's love. It is really, really, really beautiful. Oh, gosh. I like that a lot. But the pearls always do it for me. Mm. They always do it. There they are, the George Clooney's of gems. You've got to, like Fleur says, you've got to appreciate them. Even if you don't love them, you've got to appreciate they're a looker. Yeah, they're but we stunning. do love them, don't we? Oh, listen, I can't get enough of pearls. No, or me. If I have the choice, it's pearls, pearls, pearls. Do you know, when I, when I go home, well, to, perhaps tomorrow, I'll take a picture of all my pearl strands from here, shall I? Do it, yeah. You will be totally amazed, because I was... I went looking for something and I kept pulling pearls out and bags of pearls oh! and pearls. I didn't re I've got to stop buying pearls. I didn't realise how many I'd got. Go and get them value. Didn't realise how many I'd got. Can you do me a favour? Can you get one strand value? Just one. I want you to do it because you'll be gobsmacked. One day, Rodgers will be millionaires. Yes. <laughs> never going to happen. We have got me. real class here. Nine ninety five. Now, I'd oh pay that for the pearls and know oh I was getting a brilliant price tag. I would pay that for the garnet on its own and know I was getting a better price tag. Yeah. You know something? You could shop on another shopping channel for jewellery making kits now, but I don't think you would see value anywhere yeah. near this for no. one of these strands. No. You are getting all three. They're genuine. They come certified so. These are pearls. June's birth gemstone. The Audrey Hepburn of gems. The Jacqueline Onassis. The Marilyn Monroe of gemstones you've got garnet the heartbeat of india january's birth gemstone wonderfully deep and rich the king of gemstones gemologists call it and you've got agate there's your backbone right there your little black rounds are going to be spaces they're going to be beady beads they're going to be that little accent of black because we all know black goes with so much. 9.95 UEG C23, loads of you in for this one. This is a phenomenal deal. The value you're seeing here is super. Pamela in Dorset's got two and I don't blame her. Stuart and Ted in Oxfordshire. Caroline, you've got yours. UEG C23, this should sell out this bundle. The value you're seeing is beyond outstanding. Go and get your pieces valued to see three very, very prestigious gemstones go for under £10 a strand, uh, for three strands. Mm. I mean, that's striking, Frankie, isn't it? It, it is, definitely, and those pearls are gorgeous. The, the, is it called the Orient? I'll get it right one of these days. You know, the sort of, it looks as though they're lit from inside. Do yes. you know what I mean? Yes, yes. That they're so bright. And that's obviously what you're looking for in pearls. They, they need to have that wonderful pearlescence. They've got that, and it's very consistent. There's not many rings on these pearls. So they are going to go, I mean, and, and the thing is, because they're potato pearls, you, you are going to be able to pick your texture. You're going to be able to pick your, you know, and put them all together. This really is incredible. Please check out baskets or you're going to miss out. Val, you've got yours. I'm seeing lots of multi buyers. Pamela, what are you doing? You, you can't do that. Oh, oh, it's not good grief. He did it by accident. What are you going to do? Oh, good grief, that's... I don't know why I'm pinching my nose. I can't explain that. Six ninety-five. You're going to get in serious. No, because nine ninety-five was too much. We'll talk about it after. Six ninety five. You, I, can't, I don't even want don't, to shout it. That's ridiculous. If people don't buy that, they're mad, aren't they? God, that's just incredible. I mean, I don't. You know, even the pearls on their own. But those the, those garnets are lovely. They're just. And if me and you are saying you're mad if you don't buy it, fellow believers in our own madness, yeah. uh, then that's saying something. Look at the price tag. God, it's amazing. Come on, guys. Check out your basket. You've Great. got to get this. I would, I, I please urge you to multi buy this deal. Make yourself a lovely profit by selling your pieces on at a fair price tag to your customers. Absolutely. That's the grand thing about it, isn't it? It is. Well, I never, so many of you, so many of you got. Is Patty Menorca out of the swimming pool? Let's have a look. <laughs> Andrea in Massachusetts has got two. This is an incredible deal. Catherine in Massachusetts, sorry, has got two. Um, I'm sure I saw that she'd got herself out of that hot tub. <laughs> this is a ridiculously amazing deal. Unbelievable. Now, Philip's just saying to me, today is all about the unexpected. Oh, right. 
The unexpected. Have you ever seen anything unexpected? Have you ever seen a ghost? Do -do -do -do. I don't know, really. My mum swears she saw the headless horseman in Presbury with my said, auntie. I heard you say the yeah. other week. I don't know. I think my gran pressed down on my back once while I was asleep. It's the sort of thing she'd have done as well. She's the sort of lady who used to go past you if you're slouching and then do that. Or whack you with her walking stick. Be like, sorry, granny. You know, but I love that woman. Yeah. UEG C23. She would know. She was like the most amazing person ever. You had to do what my grand said. That's how it was. And that's the end of it. She ruled with an iron fist, but I was her favourite, so it's fine. <laughs> Hopefully my cousins aren't listening. I was one of her favourites. Because we were quite close, me and my grand. I could relate to her. I'm quite mad because of her. 6 95 <laughs> these are going to sell out. You always had to have good table, you know, all of that. She was from old school. That's not a bad thing either, is it? No, really? no. You've got to have manners. I always say that to my kids. It doesn't cost anything. No, do you know what I do? And this is, my, my sister says I'm a military mother sometimes. If I put their dinner down in front of them and they don't say thank you, you I take, take it, it away, away from them. They're not allowed to eat in five minutes. Like, I'm starving. Yeah, I even make the animals. If they don't sit or say thank you, they're not having it. <laughs> no, you've got to say thank you. It's so important. Please and thank you. Because some children anything. don't, no, and it's not don't. nice. I know. Is it? Because they're yeah. representing you as a parent. Absolutely. So they will have manners. Oh, yes, they will. 6 95 <laughs> I'm like, Mary Poppins. Now, what are we going to do now, darling? The wooden bitch now. All right, love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, that was risky, Philip. Are you all right there, love? You're not planning on walking out and never coming back, are you? <laughs> doing price tags like that. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm thinking. What's he, he doing? Might, he might be asked to. <laughs> that was an incredible price. It was. There's been no phone calls, though. So. Oh, well, that's... Yeah, but it's Saturday and they're all going to the ball. Yeah, but Martha's upstairs. She could see it. She must be eating her lunch. Yeah. No. Is, yeah. No one gets in the way of Martha and her quiche. Have a look. <laughs> She's always eating quiche. Why? What is that? Anyone else ate that much pastry, they'd be humongous. Not Martha. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, quiche. I don't even like quiche because of the word quiche. I don't, I'm not eating it because of what it's called. Is that why you won't? Yeah, I just don't want to eat something called quiche. Do you? It depends what flavour it is. I like some of them, but some of them are a, a very sort of... <laughs> <laughs> but they're called quiche. Yeah, it doesn't sound attractive. No, it doesn't. Does it? It's not an English word, though, is it? So. Oh, is that why we're protesting against it? Could be. I'm only eating English food. What is this foreign muck? <laughs> now, <laughs> have you ever heard someone on holiday, I ain't eating that foreign muck? <laughs> You're like, what, it's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I will That's try anything. Foreign, it's pizza, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'll try anything, me. I'll eat any I told you about the chicken foot broth and the thousand yeah, day I egg. Know, I know, anyway, yeah, come on, let's not put you off your lunch. Look at what I got for you. <laughs> a very Tucalon style ring mount. Now you're gonna love this because you it's sterling silver. You've got so much. And if you love a bit of polymer clay, or if you've got a nice big cabochon you can set in there, mm. all the better for it because you've got these little grooves you can weave in and out. I love these. Oh, that's lovely. Who did that? I would feel that now tomorrow our fleur is on and she's doing resin. I actually think this is the perfect ring mount for resin. Imagine putting a pressed flower or a look of your daughter or son's hair in there. Oh, when they're all little and cute. Look at the frame. Now this is big thick framework and by the way, it's adjustable. So you don't need to worry about that. It's totally adjustable. Uh, can I just say, how much? What's the gram weight of silver on that? This is a big gra This is a big, heavy silver ring. It's nearly four grams of silver. Good grief, that's a lot. Fifteen ninety-five. Actually, that's think about scrap value of silver right Absolutely. now. This might be a good one for you. I mean, I don't want you to scrap this because <laughs> I love it, but I think this might be a good one. Fifteen pounds, ninety-five pence. You knew we weren't staying there. Where's he going? I do feel a bit on edge now. Nine ninety-five, <laughs> under ten pounds. Brilliant saving. Get it quick. It's a it's a wonderful price. I can think about what you can do with this. 
Frankie, if I wanted to buy something like this, would it be hard to find? I, I've never seen anything like that, and certainly not in sterling silver anyway, um, to buy, and certainly not that, that sort of gram weight. Um, it's got a lovely thick frame into yes, it, hasn't it? it has, it has. Be lovely with, uh, you said resin, it could polymer clay, or uh, if people have still got their um, uh, jewel enamel, be lovely to set something in jewel enamel in there. Friendly plastic. All yes. sorts of really friendly plastic. All we all love Liz Welsh and we're yeah. sending her lots of love. Love you, Liz Welsh. Um, that would be outstanding. What about a cameo in here? Yes, you can if you yes, because we um in one of the the um what are they called? One of the moulds we had at one time. I don't know if we've still got it, but we had a cameo yes, mould. Yes, we did. Wasn't it you that but you I, got one I, of them? I, yes, I actually wore a cameo that I'd made last time I was here with you a few weeks ago. Yes, you did, and I um, remember commenting on it. Yes, yes, yes so, lovely. So in that cameo mould, there was a, that was one of the bigger ones, but there were some smaller ones. So mm -hmm. if you bought that cameo uh, mould and you find it, you, you could actually make a lovely little cameo ring that would go in there because there will be a little cameo yeah. that just fits inside. I really like that idea because of the framing of silver. It's very classic, yes, actually. Definitely, definitely. If you watch our sister channel, Gems TV, you'll see that we have a range called Toucolon. Um, we still have the Toucolon range, right? Next door, Glenn, do you yeah, know? You've yeah. seen Toucolon? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Now, this is very much reminiscent of that, I think. I'm asking Glenn because that's, that's where he normally lives, isn't it? In the land of Toucolon with the other Oompa Loompas. Uh, 9 95 under £10, incredible value. Um, the, now, those sizes, it's saying sizes, that's what this ring goes up to, isn't it? Because it is self-adjustable. Mm. Oh, but we can choose it at, at the smallest. You can, so you've still got the choice. Oh, that's good, isn't it? I'd probably go for the medium one then, because you can make it smaller. And, well, it's up to you, isn't it? It's up to you, my loves. Uh, 9 95 brilliant price tag. Now, I feel like there's a lack of steampunkage going on. <laughs> I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it, yeah. I've, I've leapt off the top board of the diving boards. And uh, yes, we will go. Full steam ahead. It's time for today's designer inspiration. I feel like I should do a bit of a New York accent. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Is it a 1920s hat? I love it. Yeah, Ted went to a, on a Saturday morning. He goes off and does his shopping and does a few jobs in his own home. Um, and then he's, he sometimes goes to second-hand shops and so on. And he saw that and he said, now I'm sure you could steampunk that. So he challenged me and that's what I came up with. And I think it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> now, as you know, I'm a huge fan of wearing hats. I know, and it suits you, babe. I, I love hats. <laughs> I love wearing them in the winter time. I love going racing and wearing a hat. I just think, I think it's nice to, to dress yourself up in that way, isn't it? And look how talented this gorgeous lady is because she has made something that will cover my forehead. <laughs> Look. It was completely just a black hat with a little band around it and a bow. So where those flowers are, there was a, 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 there's a black bow. And th that's all there was. It was very, very plain. But I think I, it's I love just it. amazing, <laughs> isn't it? Who wants to go racing with me now? Who's coming? All that's missing is my tweed. That's upstairs. Go and get me tweed from upstairs, will you? I'm going to go racing. I left my tweed upstairs, yeah. You know, you just do, don't you? Just leave them hanging around. If you love Frankie's steampunk pieces and if you're ready to learn exactly how to create those very pieces, then you need to stick around. Let me, uh, there you go, now I can see a little <laughs> bit more. Then stick around because so inspirational this lady today uh, the kits let me talk to you about those because we have got for you some incredible labradorite
I think we should be drinking champagne if I'm going to wear this hat. Do you know, look, you look absolutely fab in it, really. You always do. Well, thank you. Well, you're, an amaz you're amazing at this. <laughs> What's somebody who makes hats called again? A milliner. Just a hat maker. Oh, what? A, a milliner. That's it, a milliner. It's not a hat maker. <sighs> Have a look. At the amazing Labradorite drops. Now, you said yourself, Frankie, those oh, were fab. And you've actually done a piece which is quite yeah. centred around those Absolutely. because you didn't want to separate them. No. You got two strands like that today, didn't you? Uh, one in the next kit where you just thought, mm mm, um, yes. those need to be separate. Now, we saw earlier that you had the incredible Jasper tra chain, not train. <laughs> And you've got a meter of that, it's 150 carats, and like you said earlier, these chains are eye-looped together, mm, yes. which means that you don't lose any sections, because our lovely, delicate Gems of Distinction ones are, are wrap loops, which means if you want to t cut them off in sections, you'll always you, you, lose you a lose gem. You lose a little and a, bit, yeah. yeah, it's not much, a little but bit, you do yeah. lose a little bit. But this also means that you don't have to unconnect <clears throat> it if you just want to attach a section. So it's really, really great thing to have in your session, I love this colour. I love it and it is, do you know what, we're, we're learning today to take different elements and work them into, into a, a steampunk way because we have got some antique bronze in this kit but in the next one we haven't and Frank is going to show us how we can use the things that are perhaps already in our stash or our favourite silvers and blacks and things like that and, and work it into a, a steampunk-esque or you're sort of halfway onto the journey of steampunk. Now. I'm going to give to you the big agate slabs. Now, this crazy lace agate is wonderful. And I always see faces and patterns and things like that in these. I do think that if you want something that's really calming in terms of colour, but I mean, look at that. You can just see so many things. I actually think this reminds me very much of the fossil jasper we used to have where you yes. could see the most incredible pictures. Everyone is going to give you that kind of wonderful detail, billowing whites, fabulous dove greys, and they're cold when you put them against your skin. You can tell straight away they're genuine gemstones, and then they start to warm with you. And I love that. That's what that's what I love about genuine that's a gemstones. That's just there. That's gorgeous. Isn't it isn't amazing? It? It's like a storm at sea. That isn't it? Then I'm going to give you the little, did you have the little black rounds as well? Yeah. You've got the little black rounds. And we say these are frosted black rounds. And, and the thing about these is, like I said earlier with the black rounds that we have with the trio, th these are three mil, are they? They're a little bit smaller, aren't they? Mm. Um, now, they're so useful. They're so useful. You can make little bead beads out of them. You can use them as little accents. They will work very well to, uh, you know, fill in certain spaces in your pieces as well. Now, I'm going to give you, as well, your one millimetre gauge antique bronze wire. Yay. <laughs> your 0 0.8 Yay. gauge antique bronze wire. <laughs> These are all Frankie's favourites. And I'm going to give to you your 0 0.4. So you can make that structured piece, you can weave with it, you can manipulate it, and you've got 30 metres all together, each individually giving us 10 metres. RQG C30. Now, we should be paying, and let's again compare our prices to other jewellery um, places where you can get jewellery making pieces, other shopping channels, what I meant to say, um, other craft stores, things like that. Um, I just want you to think about how much a jewellery kit like this would be. And then I want you to look at the price tag on your screen, and I, I do think we are already getting superb value incredible value already at that price we're going to take that price tag down and not just by a little bit i feel like i should break into some jazz or something you look fabulous though 28 pounds and 95 pence you've got your extended money back guarantee that stretches from now until the 31st of january next year you're buying this at superb value getting lots for your money and not just that you're also going to get loads of inspiration from the gorgeous gorgeous frankie you've got three four strands three lots of wire incredible incredible value 
wonderful kit to have in our stash. £28.95. Now, let's go and uh, I might I might scat all the way over to you. Please do. Skip feel, up a do. I don't know how to scat. Can you scat? Glenn, can you scat? You can scat, can you? Skibbity lap to bat. You're scatting. No? Can you do that? Jazz scatting. Skibbity lap to boo da ba 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 to a skit scat. Skiddly daddy do da. Skiddly daddy do ba 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 This is us scatting. I don't know what's going on. Stop saying scat. <laughs> Why? That's what we're doing. Scatting. It's a scatter brain, doesn't it? Yeah. Why? Does it mean something else? Oh, don't be ridiculous. You lot are ridiculous. <sighs> Young people just make stuff up, don't they? Changing words so they mean something else. Don't be ridiculous. That's a jazz word. We've got jazz in our souls. Let's go into a jazz trance. I'm more blues, I think. Oh, are you? Mm, blues girl. All right. I was in a jazz trance then. S sorry, no. darling. Sorry. Come out. Come out wherever you are. I'm out, I'm out. This is amazing! I love what you've done with this kit. Fantastic, as always. You don't, have you done Viking knit, but with a thicker gauge? Yes. I did, wow. I did, I did um, a three weave um, Viking. So it's three, it's just three on the little, on the little, uh, where's it, quarter of an inch pole thing. Uh, lazy oh, the, Daisy. The, yes, yes, the, the, the original I, I, Lazy yeah, Daisy. I yes. Only, yes, I only used three of the holes, but I used... Talking about this bit here. I then. used the 0.8, um, the 0.8 gauge. So it takes some working, and then it takes some pulling, but it makes a very different sort of a chain. It's... It's, I, I, it's more substantial and a little yeah. bit... A little bit like chain mail, but yes. not. A bit uh, more um, medieval, maybe? Possibly. Possibly. I, I don't know. I just, I love that piece. I absolutely... I do know, too. I often like my pieces. I often think, oh, that, that's okay. But I, I actually love this piece. Um, I, don't, I don't know what it is. It's, I find it really satisfying. It's got... It's got did you enjoy making it? I did. That it's, might be why yes. as well, yes. It's got elements of whimsy in it. And... Um, I don't know, I must have been in a circular mood as well, although there is a lot of watch stuff and, you know, cogs and wheels which, you know, which are round, so it, it, it echoes that. I'm always fascinated to know what, you always watch a film while you're jewellery making. I do. What film were you watching this time? Um, what was it last time? It was something really funny, wasn't it? What was it? <laughs> it Shark was the Sharks. Or yes, something? It was the, yes, it was, the, it was the Sharks where they all get eaten at the end because they... Oh, Deep Blue Sea is what you're watching, right, yeah. yeah. Um, no, I was watching, um, I was watching, <coughs> um, oh, what's her name? Um, You've Got a Mail. You've got, I haven't seen that, have I? Have oh, with not? Meg Ryan. Yes, I have seen that. Yeah, I like a bit of Meg. This is gorgeous, and this one is very steampunk with the colours as well, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. The Jasper works well with steampunk I think so. pieces. Yes, it's got it? that rusty sort of look to it. It does. And look at the big watch face. Fantastic. And I love the little keys underneath. We're going to give you some Tim Holtz findings today. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. And then you've got some glorious earrings which I would have stolen had uh, Laura Binding not already. They're pretty, those ones. You she know. made me some Christmas ones, gold lover. Have a look at that. Fantastic. And then a beautiful, beautiful bracelet. How fab is that? We've got lots of text messages coming through. Oh, please good. keep them rolling. We do love yes, hearing from do, you. Yes, please do, because I do like hearing from everybody. Emily says, oh, what a lovely surprise, Frankie. I'm working on a steampunk piece at the moment, and I am going to Facebook it to you when oh, I good. finish. Good, 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 good. Thanks, good. Emily, my love. Uh, Sue in London, steampunk, Frankie, fab, you lost hat. Oh, thank you. It thank is you. a fabulous it hat, is. isn't it? And you're I was modelling going to be sad because I have to give it you back afterwards. That's <laughs> the worst part of it. I, would, I think we should be more of a hat-wearing nation. Although Mikey and Mike is wearing a hat right now, and so is Glenn. Oh. Look at Mikey. Oh, look. Yeah, I could do that for Mikey, definitely. Steampunk your hat, Mike. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's a handsome lad. Oh, I'm going to go that if you're ever confused where Howard Moon is, there, right there. Uh, Sue uh, in London says, wow, amazing necklace, funky as ever. The bronze wire is perfect. Good. And we've got another one, loads of love uh, for you. Here we go. 
Lorraine, Frankie! I shouted that because it was in capitals. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, please, can we see the necklace you're wearing close up? I love that hat and can't wait to see it design today. Jenny, you're hilarious as always. Thanks, Lorraine. Have a look. Just fantastic, isn't it? You've got the hammer out on that, love. I did. Oh, yeah, I love that. Two mil wire. Two Bash. mil? Yeah. Where did you learn from? Here. It's the it's the bear the bear copper. Oh right, yes. Yeah, we've yes, had it yes. a few times. Mm -hmm. Um so I asked the people on my JM um Frankie guest designer page, I asked them whether I should um patina it or not, and I haven't got around to it, but I think I'm going to because the little um dangler bits on it are um they're, they will show up even more then because they the are the goldy ones. Yeah, yeah. they're they're rose gold um findings. And so they, I think they'll really show up then because the rest will be darker. I love a bit of patina, but do it yeah. outside for the love oh, of God. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I, I oh, do. Oh, there's outside. nothing smells so bad. Now, which piece are we going to do? I'm going to do this one. This one here? Yes. Your fave. I'm going to do this bit. one, yes. I mean, I do like the other one. Obviously, I wouldn't have done it if I didn't like it, but um, I, I, like, I like this one best. And, um, yes, I, 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 I don't, and I don't really know why. I think it's because it's almost symmetrical, but not. Mm -hmm. And it, it's... Uh, I, I originally made it without the, um, without the wire round the outside. Uh -huh. And, and I, I looked at it for a while and thought, I need to do something else to that. And so um, I, 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 I twisted the wire and did that. So the, the wire there, if we don't get on to twisting that wire and adding it on, it's just simply added on after we've made it. And it's uh, the point, it's two pieces of uh, one mil and two pieces of 0.4 twisted um, together. And, okay. it make, and it makes that sort of ropey looking twist. Yeah. It, it's did you do it with the wire twist or a free uh, hand? No, I did it with the, you know, the little windy windy the one. The little one, yes. Yeah, yeah, so I've got one of those collapsible type tables. And yeah. so I was, because Ted was with me, I didn't want to go off and leave him, you know, sitting in my, so I sort of sat watching a film with him, as I said, and I, I sort of tie it to the end of the table and just wind, wind a little it. bit. I only needed a bit. And um, so, yeah, so that's Oh. Gorgeous. Right, so where do we start, my right, lady? Right, well, where we need to start... Do you want to sit or are you standing? No, I'm going to stand to, okay. to make. If I show the back side of it, you do have to have some way of fastening the clock face um, to anything else you want to make. And so I'm going to start by making the, 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 the roundel on the back. It, it's, it's ever so simple. So it's like an um, anchor point it's and it an looks a bit point. like a rose. Now it's important to keep yes. the pieces nice and neat and tidy in the back. And well I think so because when you lean forward it, it may well turn round. Yes. yes. So, but that, yes, that's, that's the way I made it. I made it exactly like a rose. So <clears throat> oh, let me start with those ones. I need to cut this off. So I started with my piece of, um, it's, this is one mil, and made a twiddler in the middle, twisted the wire round to make somewhere to hold for me, is that in the middle, yeah. <clears throat> and then it's a case of going round and following it round. You want to keep it quite flat. With a rose, you're trying to make um, a bit of a 3D, but this one you want to keep it quite quite flat so you chase it round just a case occasionally to anchor it you do need to go one over the top of the other or underneath so I'll go underneath with that one there keep trying to keep it flat chasing itself round Someone said the other day, <coughs> it's so true, if you've got longer wires, it's much easier to use the, the bend in them. You can see how that goes round nicely. Just ease it and tease it. Take one over the top. I think you're getting the idea. Just to say, occasionally, wrap them together because that will hold it from coming apart. Just, just hold your rows together. So you can see, I'm nearly there now. It doesn't have to be huge. 
be easy if I could see this on top, but never mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I'm getting there. There we go. There we are. You ready for Christmas yet? Are you? Good. Me either. Makes, I had to ask you that because I wanted you to say no, so I felt, you know, less panicky. I won't say bar humbug. I won't say bar humbug because I do like Christmas, but I... Um, I do suffer with seasonal adjustment disorder, so after oh, my birthday no. in September, yeah, I, I start to want to hibernate. Oh, go ahead. And so, <laughs> no, you life, remember that cover. Life, life won't let me. Um, it's a bit better now, I've, and now I've retired, obviously. <clears throat> but no, you still have to get up and do stuff, don't you? Yeah. But, so when Christmas is over, it's not too bad. If we had Christmas in the middle of the summer, I could cope. You could go to Australia for Christmas. Yeah, but then I'd miss my children, wouldn't no, I? No, you'd take them with you. You're cooking. Yes, I for usually do. Yeah, I usually oh, I do. Yeah. Yeah. I usually do, yeah. Good. Well, my daughter is a good cook, but she always says she isn't. She does and that on so, purpose, like yeah, I do, so oh, you yeah, do it. Well, yeah. yeah, I know, I've got her makes, number. Makes me feel wanted, anyway. Yeah, yeah. anyway, you're probably better at roast <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> Yeah, the secret is to parboil them. Do you I'm, find oh, that? Oh, yes. And then you bash them about in the pan With together. With a bit of flour and a bit of uh, just goose fat. It bre breaks them yeah. up a bit and then put them in the Crush really, garlic, really hot Rosemary. Fat. No, I don't put garlic or rosemary. Don't I just, you? no, I don't. I do. But the one thing I don't like, which which my chil my daughter and my two grandchildren do, is parsnips. I don't like parsnips. Well, I'm not. I mean, I wouldn't miss them if they weren't there. But I like them. A proper Yorkshire pudding. That's what I like. It's got to be homemade. Yeah. Do you have Yorkshires at Christmas dinner as well? Yeah. Common like that. No, it's not common. My mum says it is, but I say I don't care. We no, want them. It's not. But you know what you should do with Yorkshire puddings? Why they were first invented? Do you know why they were first invented? No. Oh. Yorkshire puddings were first invented because they're, they're simply eggs and a drop of milk and some water. And a bit of flour, as you know, and some yeah. flour. Yeah. Well, the ladies in the old days always had a bit of flour and a few eggs and whatever. So they would make the batter and they make as many Yorkshire puddings as, as people could eat. Um, and this used to happen at my granny's. You know, we kids used to have lovely, she used to make great gravy as well. So we had great gravy, we had great Yorkshire puddings. And then by the time it came to the meat and the veg, we know we said, oh, none with salt. You'd have, you'd have a little bit, yeah. And then Grandpa would come home and he would have the meat and the vegetables and the wine. Ah. But he never had Yorkshire pudding. So that's what it was, it was invented to fill, to, to fill you up. A bit yes. of toad in the owl. Because then the man who was the miner or whatever yeah. would, would eat be, would, a good would, meal. Yes, exactly. So that's why it was. It was never meant to be an accompaniment. Well, I, I like it. I'm the miner and the eater. Of yeah, the I, I, just, in my I, I, just, I just I just eat it anyway. So I love your <laughs> pudding. Yeah. Now, before you go further, yeah, go on. Em. I'm going to give these. Everyone's going. We need those. Yeah, we need. They do. They do. They we do. We need them. Yes, you do. Are these the foliage? Yes. Ah, oh, foliage fun. Have a look. Is that what you've called it? No, these come in different colours. Does the foliage yes. come in different yes, colours as well? There are yeah, three you've got the colours. different cut shades. Oh yeah. yeah, look. So this is the sort of silvery bronzy, pewter. Pr yeah. Bronzy and goldy there. And you also get the split pins yes. as well. Uh, to help you adhere them, to pop them on. Uh, now you get one of each colour in this. So it comes like this, and then again in, in gold, and then again in bronze, which you can see here. OBG, uh, sorry, QBG C79 is your item code. You're also getting some Jasper. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it lovely? Oh, that'll go beautifully with that. Um, oh, yeah. I love the patterns in it. I'm a big fan of Jasper. Yeah, and me. I think uh, it's Jasper before Agate for me. And I know a lot of you might think that's controversial. You get the little clear quartz rounds in between yeah. each one. That's a lovely bundle. It is a lovely bundle. Because the flower, the flowery jaspers and the and the foliage be lovely. Make a beautiful little bracelet or little little front of a necklace or whatever. Great well done, Philip. As well. Not, yes. Nine ninety five for both of these. Gosh. Another super value uh, bundle for you as Definitely. well. The Tim Holtz findings are phenomenal quality. Tim Holtz famous uh, for his range of products, Definitely. and he is.
one of the top dogs when it comes to giving us steampunk pieces. We've only got 50 of these left now. You're going to have to be very, very quick. It's the foliage. Now, Catherine, Kim, Jane, Claudia, uh, another Jane, Julie, Jurymaker in Devon, Edwina in Gwynedd, uh, Karen. You've got to check baskets out, otherwise you could miss out on this deal. QBG C79 is your item code. Wonderful Tim Holtz, who is fabulous he's such a great designer working for one of the biggest companies ranger when it comes to craft pieces rangers right up there and don't forget this isn't just for jewelry making it's for your card crafts it's Definitely. for your scrapbooking it's for all your other crafts as well hat making it could be anything like that uh, just amazing quality pieces of course we will always stand by our extended money back guarantee as well steampunk is something that is absolutely taking over the world when it comes to craft it's such a wonderful <laughs> look and we see it in fashion we're seeing it in jewelry we're seeing it in cards we're seeing it in paper craft steampunk it's Definitely. wonderfully classy it looks good it doesn't look cheap it doesn't, it it doesn't looks have really to, it doesn't expensive. have to be way out either i mean no. as i say this this piece has got one little that i'm wearing as you looked at earlier it's got one little dangle and one mm. little cog that's mm -hmm. all um, yes, I was going to say that a, f um, a few weeks ago now, um, I can't remember which designer it was, I know I was very jealous, had, um, had patinas on, the, the Ranger yeah, patinas. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, these would be beautiful to use the patinas on, yeah. definitely, you could, so you could, what I'm saying is you could change colours. You can change the colours of the patina, the color. yeah. uh, patina, and you can live yourself with these as well. I, I don't know about that, Jenny. I, I, I don't I think know. It's been you done. might be able to. I think to. it's been done. I've, I think it's been I've, nice. Yeah, I've, I've never done that. Well, but I mean, you can always use your um, primer as well if you, yes, you're worried definitely. about anything. Yes, definitely. You could swell elegant them as well if you if you if you. I'd love yeah. Yes, swell elegant will absolutely work. Yeah. Won't it? So will alcohol inks work with these as yes, well? Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Yeah. These are going to be great in conjunction with your polymer clay and your resin pieces. It's amazing with resin. Oh, Tim yeah. Holtz is wonderful yeah. with resin. And we've got a resin show coming up for you with Ed tomorrow. I'm going to do the morning tomorrow. Ed's going to do the afternoon. QBG C79 Foliage Fun. Now, we're going to continue with the gorgeous Frankie. You do need to check out baskets for those. Where are we at, my dear heart? Right, well, we've made the, um, we've made the little what's-the-name, and now we need the to... what's it? The little what's-the-name, whatever it is. <laughs> and we need to um, choose one of the clocks. Have you got the clocks there? Yeah, the clock faces. They're fab, then. And I would suggest that people... Um, it comes with the packaging to hold them in. I suggest that you keep that... Can you, can you see that on one of the cameras? So that you can measure the circumferences? No, I, because you can actually, and I haven't, I haven't had a chance to do it yet, but um, if you're using a clock face into polymer clay, you could put one of the ones that fit the clock face into your polymer clay once it's baked. Do you remember I said a few weeks? No, it was mm -hmm. Lucy that was with me a few weeks ago. I did the um, I did the porthole and I baked the clay with the plastic on it, and of course it, you couldn't. Well, it didn't see. melt in the oven. No, it didn't melt, but you couldn't see through it. It went opaque. So don't. Why did you do that? Well, because I was stupid and I didn't realise oh, it. Oh, you did it by accident. I did. Well, right, I fitted right, it on right. and thought, oh, this is great. And then, you know, you could see through the porthole. Then, of course, you couldn't see through the drutted porthole, could you? Because it didn't... <laughs> anyway, so after, you, after you've baked your clay, um, you can put one of these over as a, as a watch face. Is what good. I'm saying to you. Okay, good idea. All right, so mm -hmm. don't throw. Well, your dome in resin would be good, anything like yes, that. Yes, it would, but, it, but some people haven't got the resin, and you know, mm. it's, I like to I like to use the packaging as well. In fact, on the back of one of the other the other um, thing, I've used part of the. If you turn it round, you see I've oh, used. Oh yeah, you do do that. <laughs> she does do that. Instead of making this sort of. Um, Curly whirly, I, I did use the packaging, so makes sense. Yeah, makes there you go. sense. Well, it all fits in, doesn't it? So you choose whichever you want. I think I went for a middle size one here. Um, yeah, that'll fit on there, all right. And um, we're going to fit that on there with one of the um, one of the what's the names? I haven't got those out there in here. If you have to, you will have got these if you've had other steampunk things, because the the one thing about the watch faces is that they don't actually come with the so you do need to buy everything guys you know you need to not just one do you need with a, right, you need a, a no a split pin thank you that's all i'm trying to do is a split pin 
because that's how I fastened it on. So I take my split pin and fasten it through. And that's why we need that's why we need the spirally bit at the back. I mean you can find your own ways of fastening it on, but I found that the spirally thing was a, a good idea. Make sure you've got that really pressed home so it holds it still like that. Okay. So that's how it's going to be. And then we needed, was that the one mil? Can I have it back, sorry. We need, because it, we haven't got the clock faces, we actually needed the faces. So I used, um, sorry, is, I'm getting really untidy already, aren't no, I? No, it's not I'm that. Sorry. Glenn can't see oh, what Oh, sorry, doing, Glenn. Isn't? Sorry, Glenn. Poor Glenn, look at him. He don't complain, though. No, he's very good. Nah. He don't complain. Yeah. So I took a length of wire. I will chop it off because I find it easier if I chop it off, although lots of people work on the, on the reel. Try to keep tidy, Gaywood. Yes, OK, I will. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dear. And then I just made that little curly-whirly again in the middle, just going round with my pliers. And I must admit, I did use, I did use my hammer and... I'm going to say hammer and tongs then, I didn't mean that You were going to say hammer and tongs, <laughs> I meant I meant hammer and block, that's hammer what I meant. Hammer and block. Yes. Uh, at home to flatten it out. The, the, the hands are flattened out. But for this one, I, I didn't do that. So, because I didn't bring it, I forgot to bring it. So I wanted to make the hands and I wanted, um, I wanted pointers. So I took my flat, thin needle nose and I pushed away against a little way back again back again back again to make my little pointer and then when you're back to where you started cut off the excess you've got a little arrow and then you say you can hammer hammer that down shall I do that one again mm-hmm um, you would need one hand to be longer than the other or you don't have to but you could have one hand longer than the other I'll make this one a bit shorter I think the other one is really quite crazily long so take your pliers press back to make the first part of your arrow back again back again and back again it would be better if you actually left yourself enough room to do it Gaywood yeah I know can't help it though never mind are you talking to yourself again <laughs> me moi you no, carry what on you what carry on to myself Jenny Yes, I am, because I've been stupid and I've got plenty of wire and I didn't... I've left... Oh, sausages. There we go. Who's that laughing? It's not you, is it? Me? No, no. Young cameraman here. He's always laughing. Well, this one's wonky. Do we care? I was just down there sorting some things out. Can I do that again? I thought they were supposed to be wonky anyway. And that, well, they are, them. but the point is not supposed to be wonky. Leave yourself enough room. Start again. Let me silly. Right. <laughs> we shouldn't have drank that wine before we no, started, we should we? Well, I don't think it was the wine as much as the two gin and tonics we had well, on the top. You know, they call it housewives ruin for a reason, don't they? <laughs> I told you not to drink that, that tonic as well. I can't drink gin. It gives me a terrible headache. Does it? Oh, it does. Makes me morose. Makes you what? Morose. Miserable. Does it? Yeah, well, they do Even say more that. than usual. <laughs> bit melancholy. Look, I'm going to give this up because I did the first one brilliantly and now I'm just digging and a there's hole. There's nothing wrong with that one. You could have <laughs> no, That one's it. OK. That one's rubbish. Well, let's just Look. stick with that one then. You did it once, all right. I know, don't, I know. Don't I tempt fate. No, I know. Well, I, listen, if it works well, don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Isn't that what they say? What are you doing there? I'm Leave it. So I'm trying to get it right. That's like when you cut the, the, the forelock of a horse 
and you have to keep going back by the end too you've finished short. it it's, it's about this stump. long yes I've once done, me and I ended up from that. school came and looked at her pony and I cut all its hair off where I kept going back going it's not straight <laughs> literally that. was like hogged it she was like what have you done to my pony <laughs> like, sorry I've done that myself with the pony <laughs> <laughs> she started off with a lovely long mane and she finished up with about two inches long. I just don't think we should <laughs> never do it no, never there's a you know there's that person that always does it right just pay them oh, now Frank has been using the watch faces and you've been asking for them so <laughs> while she's fiddling about with her clock hands I'm gonna give you I'm just gonna leave it at that Jen your clock handed <laughs> <laughs> I just clocked that you're ready to do something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh dear. Sorry. Come on, it's time to do these. This okay. could go on. I mean, okay. we could go on. Okay. And I love the code for these. Pug. Time's, time's two. C61. Away. You're not just getting these. Look at the cabs. Woohoo! I love these. Oh, They're mahogany, the aren't they? Gorgeous mm. cabs. What are they? Gorgeous cabochons. Tiger's eye. Oh, it is. It's it's red tiger's eye. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Gorgeous. Oh yeah, I can see a a, ca a a cab at the bottom and then the watch face at the top. Be brilliant. I I think these are going to be staying together. Now, yeah. if you love what Frank there's has one done, open there. So you there's can show an open one. Look. And, and think about using these as well uh, to press into your polymer clay. Think about using these also. Uh, if you've got your moulding compound because they'd be amazing for that but you can if you're mechanically minded or if your husband is you can actually make watches out of these yeah if you've got the you can buy Did them you? can't you 9.95 incredible value incredible <laughs> pugc 61 is your item code 9.95 i might give these to my daughter because she's doing clocks at school she can make me something nice you know when you go up into technology and you make a clock out of like a plate or something random? 9.95, 0800, it might be woodwork or something she's doing. 0800, 6, uh, 444, is the number to be calling. Look at those cabs, loads of you loving these. Absolutely love, loving them. Dr. Sarah Ramirez in Oxfordshire, you've got yours. Uh, John and Penelope from County Cork, it's where my clearies come from. Uh, you've got two of these. Look out for them, Cleary's a county cork, John and Penelope, they're old trouble. Especially Paul Cleary. Uh, Emily from the West Midlands, loving these details, Jimmy Maker, give me more! Because girls, we always want more, don't we? I know, I know um, Cindy Lauper said girls just want to have fun. She actually meant girls just want more. <laughs> this uh, Sue says we're crazy. Lol, this is crazy! <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. sorry it's like being at the fair and going on a ghost train, isn't it? <laughs> Who knows? You're sort of enjoying it, but sort of frightened of where it's going to go. Uh, PUG C61, £9.95. Anonymous says, Love in the hat, Jenny. You look like a very glamorous gangster's mole. I'd love to be a gangster's mole. You'd be great, wouldn't I'd you? I'd love yeah. that, wouldn't you? I mean, it'd be a bit scary. But it would be good, wouldn't it? The shape it? of the hat is definitely 20s. It's a real cloche. I feel like I'm in... Uh, What's that little gangster film we used to watch when you were little? Bugsy Malone. Bugsy Malone, that's it. That's What's her name? My name is Tallulah. That's the it. The first rule of thumb. I loved her. I wanted to be Tallulah. And Blousey, Blousey Brown. It's Jodie Foster. Jodie, I know that. Of course I do. She was brilliant. Oh. Bugsy Malone. I don't know. No. <laughs> I love that film. Have you seen it? Oh yes, I have. My, uh, I think my son was in it once. Oh, what in the production? Uh, as, yes, at school. Who was he? Oh, I can't remember. Just one of the gangsters, I think. Oh, I love it. Nine ninety-five. Maybe if I walk around with a hat like this, I could attract a gangster. <laughs> Would that be a bad thing? Be another you, chapter in my life. As isn't you it? do, Jen. Oh, hang on. I've got kids. I can't. You've, no, got to, you've got to stop yourself doing certain things when you're a parent. <laughs> uh, shall I do this? No, you're a parent, Jenny. You can't be a gangster's mole anymore. Those days are over for you. <laughs> I love this show. You can't be a gangster's mole, Phil said. You talk too much. <laughs> yes, they wouldn't let you talk, Jenny. I, I, I tell everyone everything, wouldn't I? <laughs> you ain't going to believe what he's done now. <laughs> <laughs> Put a 
tears. I don't need pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, no, they do things to the horses. I can't do it. I, I, I've retracted it anyway. For, on the back of I am a mother, I stopped myself going it forward with my dream to be a gangster's mole. Back to being Frankie Dottori's wife in my head then. You ready? We've got work to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember how I fastened these on. Oh, I know. Point four one. Where's We're this going to go? Who knows where we're going to end up today? No They're going to come and collect us and put us in a. Place I did where see we people out. with, with white coats on outside. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, wow. Look, the viewers said they were enjoying it. They said that it was mad and they're obviously enjoying it. So there we go. <laughs> That's my story and I'm, I'm sticking, sticking to, to it. it. Yeah. <laughs> right, so... Right, let's crack on. <laughs> so, uh, you can do what you like with the sides. I decided to use um, two, <coughs> two different colours um, of, the, of the leaves. But it doesn't really matter what you what you do. I, I like the leaves rather than the flowers on this little bit because I like... And I actually chose the one with the three and the one with the two on purpose. So, um, but you could actually, if you wanted to, do... Two lots of three, like that. Or you could do. Where's the other two? Uh, could do. Sorry, two like this. You could put more around if you wanted. You could have loads around. See what I mean? Because they go beautifully. Oh, I that's, love those. That's, that's gone. And I there. think polymer clay roses, those would look nice behind yes, as well. Yes, they would, definitely. They would. Like that. I wish I was really, really, really good at polymer clay and I had time to do it every day. I love doing polymer clay steampunk. Yeah, that's, I can imagine. That's brilliant. People you can make remember the, the octopus. Well. The octopus and the, um, the, the porthole. The famous hole, octopusy. The, yes, and the famous porthole that went non see through. <laughs> well, you don't always have to see through. It might be um, <laughs> condensation. Well, I don't know what, what I, but it was the plastic that I put it in at the wrong time, as I say, so I should have. Should no have. one's perfect, are they? Certainly not me. <laughs> me either. It's yeah. annoying when people come along, they're all not perfect. Yeah, and yeah, it makes well. me suspicious of them as well. Why? Because no one's perfect, are they? I you look at these people who are like, oh, look at me, I'm all perfect. Look how neat and tidy I am. You get in their cars and it's like they've just been valeted, but that's how they always are. And their houses are like lines in the talk carpet where they talking food of that, so much. Talking of that, that was really funny. Um, we were going out in my car a couple of weeks ago. Sometimes Ted drives and sometimes I do. Um, and I, I said, can we go in my car? Because I've got a heated seat in my car. I was, I was cold and my back wasn't very good, so... Ooh, I'm missing... You're way off there. There you are. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, uh -huh. um, so I said, can we go in my car? And he said, yes, hang on a minute. And he went outside with a plastic bag. Oh, and he cleared your car And up. he cleared it all mm -hmm. out because it was a mess. Because I, I'd had the boys in there and I'd taken them out somewhere the day before and I'd had a picnic for them. They love having a picnic in the car, so they'd had sandwiches and crisps. And, and it was all, yeah, it's like mine. It was a mess. Listen, mine's got hay, so, straw. Well, mine used to have, all of course. Sorts of used to have all sorts of junk in it, but he's never seen it like that, of course. But uh, so, yes, he went out and he got the vacuum cleaner out Fair and everything. Play, and he said to me, I give this a week. I said, No, I'll keep it tidy, I'll keep it tidy. But I didn't, did I? No, no. <laughs> it's nearly as bad. I've got like nuts and stuff on the floor where I've been eating <laughs> peanuts. <laughs> Right, so what are you doing? Let's talk through it. What I'm doing here is I'm just fastening on the leaves at either side. That's it. Nope, there. Yep. There. Yep. Okay. Ooh, oh, sausages. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I've got to remember to aim for that there then. Okay. And then I'm going to wrap this round here. Okay. Just to keep my leaf still. All right. And then I fasten on the other end. Do you want me to see? Do you want to see me do the other side, or are you I mean, going to do it the same as what you just did? I, I'm just going to wrap it on. Yes, it's just literally just wrap. Okay, on. so wrap so, that on. So wrap the other side on the same, whichever one you choose. Mm -hmm. I don't think you really need to see me do no. that because that's simple. Right now, what else did I do? Watch your head. Oh yes. Yeah. Sorry, I was just sorry. I was just looking. <laughs> 
we I saw thought you right might like to see, I then. thought you might like to see. Oh, you didn't see my route, so that's all right. Then. <laughs> <laughs> now, while you you root out and get yourself sorted, and I'm going to give everybody okay. the purple wire on a clearance deal. Oh, great! Ooh, and I love nice. this. That's you nice. want to do the Tim Holtz first? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Philip, my love. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, I wasn't supposed to tell them about the wire. All right, well, yeah, I've got a big mouth. What can I say? Look what I've got here. Now, you're going to love these They're flat beautiful. bottom pearls, not fat bottomed girls. <laughs> flat bottom pearls. <laughs> Look at these. Now, these are really useful if you want to use the glue and stick them down, if you want to surround a cabochon, because to have that flat bottom makes all the difference. So, I'm just going to flip it over and you'll see the dome on to the side. Come on, you. So do you see what I mean? They're domed on a little bit like mini cabochons almost, I suppose. And you've got lovely steampunky colours in this. Definitely. I love that. Gorgeous. Brilliant, aren't gorgeous. they? Absolutely like gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. coppery. And then I'm going to give you... Now, you're actually wearing one of these. Oh, I've yeah. got this packet. It's really useful. Well, you know, I'm a big thing about Lucky Charms and things, so I've got this for our Clo and our Mia. I took these home because I think they make really nice Lucky Charms. DLG C48, 7.95. Oh, gosh. Your sentiments, is it sentiments, is that what we call them? Uh, Your muse tokens. M muse tokens, Genuine yeah. knowledge, thoughts, courageous, lifetime, moments, unique, forever, wonderful, excellent, journey, and significant. I gave me a journey, and I gave, what did I give to Chloe? remember what it was. Oh, excellence, I think. DLG C48. They've got, I fill their pockets up with Lucky Charms when they go competing. Yeah, so it. both of them put their hands in their pockets and they've all got gemstones and things like this in the bottom of them. Uh, 7.95. Well, I'm a sentimental old fool. Simone is in Italy. Ciao, Bella. Ciao. Oh, I wish I was in Italy, Simone. I'm well jealous of you. 7.95. Uh, Joan, Janet, Kim, Lou, Parvinda, Mary, Suze, literally loads of you. And it's lush to have your company here today on Jewelry Maker. Thank you so much for tuning in. We love you. We do. We do, we do, we do. Uh, we are a little bit mad today. It's a combination that should never be brought together. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Those Muse tokens, though, they are lovely. I mean, you can put them with your steampunk, and I, you know, I obviously do. But they, they can be just not steampunk. I mean, they, they are just lovely in their own right. I would put and these in cards if it was like a get well card, absolutely. or you needed courage. You know, someone absolutely. right now who needs to have some courage. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it, what about a good luck for exams? You've yep. got the knowledge there. Uh, unique. Well, you're wearing that same yeah. more. Uh, <laughs> thoughts. Our thoughts are with you. You know, these are great on cards. These they are, are wonderful trinkets, and they're great as key rings. They're great for, for people to have as everyday things that they see every day, which is why I say a key ring, because you look at it and you think, aha. Uh -huh. And, you know, my mum has um, a lucky parking angel on her key ring that a lady that has now passed away gave her and she says that every time she looks at it she gets a parking spot because my oh, mum's really? as mad as me no i i know what she means I know what yeah she, means. she always asks her lucky parking angel for a parking spot seven pounds and 95 pence i know i come from a long line of completely crazy people tlg c48 is your item goes seven pounds 95 can you imagine for, for that's a that's a, a ready-made stretchy bracelet with a, with one of the charms on there with yes. those pearls I mean you could yes. make how many could you make could probably make two of those could you from those with the pearls? pearls yes 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 just easily. using those pearls oh, you could make two lovely stretchy Ooh. bracelets couldn't you gorgeous and it would be just so very wonderful. simple and with, with the with the, yeah, oh absolutely with one of the charms they're so fashionable at the moment just those sorts of bracelets with a with a charm I think like sentimental that things are always fashionable they're always they are. well received aren't they and also those those leather ones where you tie a you tie a, oh, a knot idea. on either end yes with the and you've just got one of those charms just there absolutely perfect for me i reckon right now what are you up to my lady right well i had those two bits that were sticking off when i first made the coil and so now i'm just going to um, embellish the top really just to make it look coily and springy and whatever so um i i decided um that i would make a couple 
I am untidy, Jenny. Thank you for tidying me up, babe. Don't worry, my love. You should see the table when I'm making at home. It's horrendous. Don't worry. I'm, I'm a right messy old thing, I am. So I've just got a length of wire and a, a bit like... Um, a bit like Alison was saying yesterday, that the longer the piece, the bigger the, co the coil. So if you want a large coil at the top, have a longer piece. Um, I don't want it to be quite that long, I notice, so I'll just chop a little piece off that end. But I will leave the one longer. And I'm, I, those ones were joined because that was part of the coil that I made to go along the back. And then I'm just going to fasten these in. I'll make them but I won't necessarily fasten them in because you can see where they go on the big piece. It's just more cogs, more... It just gives me a feeling of... You know like a pocket watch has got the winder thing on the top as well. You know, it's got the, yeah, the winder sorry, thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was just imagining it, yes. Yeah, so it just gives me that sort of feeling of something at the top of the watch that it looks like a, a winder. Um, do you know what I mean? I do. It's, it's, all about, it's all about giving the feel. I see, you could have, because Tim Holtz does do beautiful watch, watches that you can buy. <coughs> what, ready-made watches? Yeah, ready-made watch, watch bits that you can fill up with your own things. I think I wore mm. one a few weeks ago. Um, but if you want to give the, the idea of it, then you just make something sort of circular like we've made here and give the illusion of it because obviously a lot of Victorian chaps wore pocket watches and that's where it comes from. Yeah. Okay, do you Because a lot to... of it's the Victorian era. Oh, absolutely. It? Yeah. it is absolutely the Victorian era, the steampunk one. While you're doing that, I'll give everyone the purple Please wire, do, shall yeah. I? Yeah. I have got the purple wire deal for you and I actually think purple will go in this hat. You've used definitely. loads of different colours, haven't yeah, you? Definitely. Have a look. Yes, because there's purple in the feathers. Is that what it was? Yes, yeah. I knew it. So and this is on a clear is clearance deal, Gosh, which means you're about to get... Is it one mil? It's one mil. Oh, it's one, one millimetre. So it's a nice thick gauge for you to make your own jump rings out of, to make your own framework out of. Should be, and is usually, 27.95. Now, this value that you're about to get is for today's show only. If you try and get this deal tomorrow, it will not be available. Are you ready? Do you love wire? Maybe you want to make some practice jump rings because you've seen Fleur use them. Maybe you want to make something like Alice and Terry's wonderful collars. Did you see the sleigh yesterday? <laughs> well, if you love a bit of Terry time and you love a bit of Rachel Norris or Caron or any of our wonderful wire workers, then you're going to love this deal. It's just £14.95. and pence. Hop on this one quickly because I think this deal will fly out. Uh, at fourteen ninety-five, you're getting better than a ten pound saving. It's Gosh. incredible, incredible just, value. Is it good quality, oh, Frankie? It's beautiful, and the colour of this one is just amazing. It's absolutely fabulously purple. I'm getting into purple more now. Yeah, it matches your belt beautifully. I could, look, one of the stones has come out. Oh, but I mean, I know my sister, my older sister, always wears purple. Yeah, and you know. Um, I never really was into purple, I was into green, but now I'm loving it. I don't know, it's because now I'm trying to be more sensible and older. I don't know what it is, but I like it. It's graceful. So if you wear purple, you have to be sensible and older. I don't know. No, I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's just because I've got, gotten older and I like different things now. You know Possibly. how, what, do you know what I mean? Yeah. My tastes have matured. Like Stilton. Ooh. Now, I like this one. <laughs> you, but you do, you know. You don't yes. like. So you don't like. I didn't like olives when I was little. Can't get enough of them now. You know, silly thing. It, it, it's true yeah, though, it's isn't true. it? Mushrooms, love them. Yeah, I'd eat them on true. toast with Stilton. Stilton and mushrooms on toast. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's lush. Cook them. Cook them mushrooms. Slice them up. Put them on the toast under the grill. Stilton on top. Oh. Yes, yes, it's a good lunch. <sighs> 40. Don't you wish we had a grill here? We'd never stop eating, That'd would we? That'd be lovely. I'm going out to dinner tonight. Oh, where are you going? Nice. Yes, going out to, with Ted tonight. Get dinner. you. Yes. Will you be dancing after? No, I don't dance, Jenny. I barely walk. <laughs> you can sway. I do. I sit on my chair. and I, Yeah, well, that's all I, right. I, I chair dance. What are you going to have? Steak? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, yes, I often do. I me, mean, I always have steak. I, I often have steak. Uh, where we go in, I like their steak, and it, there's also scampi with it. 
So it's a really good surf sort of and surf turf. And turf. Yes. Yeah, it's great. We're all hungry now. I always so, go to that Italian and me and my son eat lobster. That's our favourite. Oh, little I spoon. heard you saying that the oh, other day. It. It's yeah. his favourite restaurant. I'm so glad that he likes eating stuff like that. He loves seafood. That's great, oh. isn't it? 14.95. We're foodies in our house. We love food. Yeah. 14.95. But he won't eat a lumpy yogurt. He'll eat. He'll eat a squid. But don't give that kid a lumpy yogurt. <laughs> Where's the logic? Where's the logic? Uh, VLZ X 2400 oh, meters, and this is one millimeter gauge wire. A great price tag, and you're not having to pay any extra PMP because it is heavy. But we only charge you once, and that's a bottomless basket all the way up until midnight. We don't uh, take from your card until we dispatch your order, so we will work it all out uh, on dispatch, so don't worry about that. Now, my love, where are you at? We don't have long left. That's OK. Uh, I think the rest of it sort of calls for itself. I, I've made, and you can make as many of these as you like. I did think about making some to go all the way around, but then I... I stopped and then I realised that the circle would be better and as I say that's simply fastened on. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm just fastening this now at the top uh, and I'm just literally um, binding this on again. If I could just pinch it hard enough, Jenny. What do you say, my love? If I could just pinch it hard enough. Just my, grab my, it, my grab thumb, a hold of it. Or doesn't. talk us through it if you can. Well, I, uh, yes, I, c I should be able to, but my thumbs are not good this week. Come on, thumbs, sort your Come life out. Thumbs. Just, just, to, just to bind this on into the... Anyway, look, it, my thumb won't press it down, sorry. Just fastens onto here. Just stay where you are. This is where you why you needed the backing, so you can add all your bits and pieces. So it is actually quite simple to fasten on here if you were, if you had a half a hand. I just realised these Tim Holtz findings, little flowers, are really easy to manipulate. They are. They're absolutely brilliant. Because I thought they'd be quite rigid, but they're not. No, no, they're not. And they go together really nicely. Mm. Look, you, you know what I mean, guys. I just wanted to show you how I fastened. Uh, that's it. Thank you. That's how, just fasten it on. I, I just, I'm sorry, I just can't. I love that uh, use of those little springy coils. They, they That's just really add a little something yeah, at the top. Yeah, it's lovely. And again, it always reminds me of the film Hugo when you come yes, on. Yes, yes, that's, that's what it is. It's about the yeah. sprockets and the gears. And when you haven't got them, you have to give the idea of them. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's a great way of doing that. it. And have, so have I got time to do just to How many minutes do we have? How many minutes do we have, Philip? Two and a half minutes, that's exactly. Okay. Oh, blimey, that's very precise. It was very precise. Very precise. Thank you, Philip. I can do that in that. Right, so I've, I've taken the... Yes, he's lovely, isn't he? Taken the 0.8 wire, and you need quite a long piece for this. Because you've just gone 108 to... seconds. <laughs> oh, no, don't do it like that, though. It's all right, I'll, <laughs> let it, you, you, I'll let it go in my ear, and I won't... Thank you, don't, don't tell. These, what did you call them? Crazy lace agates? They're crazy lace. They are absolutely So they're right up our street, crazy and lacy. <laughs> yes, definitely. Through it goes. Through it goes. It sh it sh I think it would have gone if I'd forced it, but I didn't really have time to do that. Let's get that out of the way, yeah. So there I'm going to make a wrapped loop here. But I'm not going to wrap it too many times because I'm going to come back, cut my piece off. I would make that tidy. I would make that tidy. I'm trying to show you how I did it. So now I made my loop here at the bottom. Like so. And I wrapped it round several times for the bottom to make like a little spiral there at the bottom as well, right? Then I grabbed my flower. I think I had two flowers. Oh, I might. I haven't. I've just been playing. That's Wasn't okay. There, no, no, you can play all you like. I don't mind. I'll, I'll have two ones like that. So I went up and through. Where are you putting them then? On the little. Oh, you're doing the one on the bottom. I yeah. see. Right. Okay. Just so I had a little extra decoration on the bottom. I like the way that you've changed the colour of the um, wire as well. You've added a little bit. of of rose gold yes, I actually that. did. That that is just a rose gold finding. It's yeah. one of those beautiful new, knobbly topped ones. Yes. The head pins. I love those. Brilliant, aren't they? Because they in steampunk, they do look like 
rivets or something. Yeah. They really yeah, do. Yeah, they're perfect. Yeah. So um, just catching it down, the flower, catching the flower down. I've gone through it once. And then I'm going to wrap round, which is why I didn't wrap round a lot of times in the beginning. So there I've got my spiral there. I cut that off. And then you can always, you know the, the trick to tighten. Turn it like that and give yourself a tighter one. So there you've got. Are you front on to me? No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Okay? Yeah. So that, that's as simple as that is. And then I've hung that onto the, um, onto the, the, the frame at the bottom of the clock. Okay? What you can see here. There we go. We're up. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. Thanks so much to Frankie. We will be back after the break with loads more deals for you. Our second designer inspiration. Don't go anywhere. If you think the first half was mad, you can wait till in a minute. We'll see you after this. The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or alternatively go to our website and click on watch the live show. Simply type your message into the box and press send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Tonight is truly spectacular. This precious gemstone is only found in one location in the world, Tanzania, Africa. Claimed to be a thousand times rarer than diamonds, tanzanite is the blue variety of zoisite. Tanzanite is extremely popular due to its trichroic nature, which means that three different colors can be seen when looking at the gem from different angles. In tanzanite's case, these colors are blue, pinkish violet and yellow. Download the Jewelry Maker app today. You can watch our Jewelry Maker shows live, view all the details of the item that is currently on air, as well as browsing all the items from today's show. You can also minimize the video or switch to use as a companion app. Get the Jewelry Maker app today and boost your viewing experience. Get ready to be a part of this year's Christmas Snowball Auctions. Anyone can register and bid, whether you're at the ball or not. And all profits go to the continued support of the Equal World Foundation. If you'd like to place a bid on over 50 fantastic auction lots, ranging from gorgeous jewellery to experience days to signed memorabilia, then simply head to our dedicated website to register. Once you've registered, you'll be able to keep bidding on items from your mobile, tablet or computer. All auctions close at 10.30pm on Saturday the 6th of December, and winners will then be notified. So remember, keep heading to the website to keep a close watch on your auction lots until the very last second. Best of luck, happy bidding and spread the word. Everybody, it's Becky. Uh, just a quick message to say I've been here a year now and I really feel like part of the family and that is due in no small part to you guys at home. So to all of you and my reindeer family, happy Christmas!
I just wanted to thank all of the Jewelry Maker viewers for all of their support over the last year and of course to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Hello and welcome back. I feel a bit naked now without me uh, hat on. Uh, now, I have got some amazing things to give to you. Can I just say, when are we going to do these rubies? Can we do them now, Phil? The best rubies. The best rubies. I've not seen this strand. I am so in love with the red. Well, you know, Gemma Crow told me the first time she had really good quality ruby, she cried. Fleur told me a couple of days ago that she bought her mum a ruby ring. She had it valued for almost £2,000. She bought it for less than 100 Rubies are so special, so beautiful. They're definitely on my top list. What I want at the moment, for, I've actually asked for Christmas for some ruby studs. Do you know how hard it is to find just ruby studs? We don't have any here. I, I love them. I think they automatically look so classy. But you've got to see these. I mean, when when you see any ruby with clarity, you know you're getting really, really outstanding quality ruby. Oh, look at the quality. Now that's that is clarity for you. Where's my torch? I need to show you the clarity behind these. To say it's outstanding is a massive understatement. I've got it here. Uh, now, oh. Does this work? Is there battery? No, it's run out of battery, isn't it? But unless this is it. Yeah, uh, that's run out. But I want to show you the briolette cut of these. They're so delicate. They're so glamorous. They're so expensive looking. Look at the rich, rich colour. Just outstandingly beautiful. Teardrops cut finely at the very tip to be clustered together in groups of four. Now these graduate in size. I would um I would consider very carefully how I was going to use these because they are a gems of distinction strand. They are one of the finest strands that we actually have here at Jewelry Maker. I would consider very, very, very carefully whether I was going to just take a group of four of these. Thank you, Tom. Whether I was just going to take a group of four of these and put it in maybe a cluster in a really special brooch with sterling silver and gold wire whether I was going to put them in earrings, whether I was going to make a piece that was quite ruby heavy and sell that for a lot of money. That, look at that, you can see the clarity there. Absolutely outstanding. Now Tom's just given me his torch. And the reason I'm doing this is because we get so many studio lights in front of us. I want to get some light behind these to show you the incredible clarity. Now, have you ever been into a up? It's gone. Oh no, hang on, there it is. It's me, it's me. It was user error. Now, have you ever been into a jeweler's and seen Ruby with that, with no clarity, just a solid deep red that could almost pass as garnet? Well, you can see with these, the clarity is outstanding. Look at that glow. Now these, are just the best rubies. They're the best rubies we have here. Look at that colour. Now I want to, I want to actually, now I've got a lot of lights in the front of me now. I want to just take those down because I want to show you this when the light's behind it as you would see it at home. Absolutely breathtaking. Oh, look. Oh, jewellery makers, get, please get these valued. And we're going to come back. <sighs> it's 
sometimes in life we see opportunities and yes these will be a considered purchase but there'll be things these opportunities that we won't ever forget and we'll think why didn't I grasp that when it was there you know I think in life we can think about we can think back about quite a lot of of those sorts of opportunities can't we well, at £44.95, I think it's a very affordable opportunity. Make sure you get these in your baskets as soon as you possibly can. So many of you already have. This is the best strand of ruby that we have on offer. Alison, you've got yours. Well done, Alison. Uh, Rosemary, you've got yours. Jan, Jewelry Maker in Surrey, Margaret, well done. This has got to be the best thing. The best thing for your stash, for your high-end stash. This, and what are you going to put it with? Some emeralds, some pearls. Please get these values. I cannot stress that enough. Get the certificate of authenticity. Get these valued. They are our most outstanding strand. They have been briolette cut, ready to drop from cascading earrings, ready to cluster together and really keep rich, ready to put with pearls. Maybe you've been waiting for a strand to put those diamonds that you bought a couple of months ago with. $44.95, very affordable. We do take credit cards, we do take debit cards, and we do take PayPal. A couple of ways in which you can shop with us here today. On the phone lines, 0800 644 655 online, or the w.jewelrymaker.com, or on the app, which you can search for on your tablet. Q or your phone, QIYY48. You've got 25 carats of a precious gemstone. These are the ones, they're the ones. The most outstanding ruby we have here at Jewelry Maker. Here's what a certificate of authenticity looks like. Like you will have your particulars of this particular strand. You will have the details of that uh, on your certificate of authenticity. Just amazing. QIYY48. Margaret, you've got yours. Jewelry Maker in London and Merseyside and Surrey. You've got yours as well. Congratulations to everybody. Make sure you check out baskets if you're waiting for these because those are about to sell out. <gasps> Goodness me. From one deep rich colour to another. Have a look at these. Yesterday we had those little rounds. Did you get them? Ah! Oh, deep rich rounds of amethyst. Gorgeous. But look at these ovals. Totally and utterly natural. Wonderfully deep. They look yummy, don't they? Look at that che checkerboard fasting. I would want to almost do like a semi bezel set with these. Have you got any of the half round wire? Surround the. And make a two colony piece. And you know, I do reference two colony pieces a lot because Alison Tarr is really inspired by those. And I always think if there's a jewellery maker that you really look up to, Go and, go and ask them, what are, what's their inspiration? Alison Terry will tell you she's really inspired by two column pieces. Go onto our Gems TV or Gemporia website and um, put in the search engine two column uh, with a K and um, you'll see the pieces to which I refer. Alison Terry has done lots of pieces that I think we can, we can compare with the two column. Aha! You can sort of see where she's got that inspiration from. And I think this would be a great gemstone to do that with. These are going to be wonderful in earrings, prongs set into rings, lots of ways in which that you can work this gorgeous strand into your collection. 0800 644 655. It's a free phone number to be dialing. RBG P37 is your item code. 200 carats in total. 18 by 13 millimetres, all yours for 11.95. Think about these in cufflinks. Think about these in embellishments on the decolletage, ready to work lots and lots of chain through. Maybe you just bought that purple wire from us and you want to work that in so that you've got uh, coinciding colours with your gemstones. Perfect for that. 11.95, genuine amateur this February's birth gemstone a gemstone said to give you tranquility in your life so being frank you'll be eating these later 11 I don't, don't eat your gemstones that was a joke it's not a good idea is it but they they break your teeth for a start <laughs> Uh, do, do make sure you remember you've got your extended money back guarantee as well. Big fan of purple at the moment. I'm getting into it. Get right into purple. Don't know if it's an age thing. I'm not sure. RBG P37 200 carats in total. These are gorgeous. Don't forget you got my sunglasses, Mr. Dorks. Oh yeah, we got them. I had a um. Thank you, Mr. Dorks. Would you like your torch yes. back? Thanks. You've always got a tool for every occasion, haven't you? That's, yes. Yes, he has. Now. I'm going to give to you, oh, you like these, stripy, gorgeous agate. Oh, look at the colour! Woohoo! Do you know, these go with those tiger's eyes. 
Look at the colours, like blood red. Can you see the reds in there? I'm seeing, th these are more red than any other colour to me and um, it's funny because they're coming across the screen kind of brown but they're not, they're really red. It's weird that, isn't it? Incredible. Look at this one. I mean this one's very orange, but look at that. Psychedelic, isn't it? Psychedelia. Wowzers. But you're going to love this one. My gran used to have sugar sugar in a bowl that was big sort of like lumpy things but it wasn't it they looked pretty and they were brown sugar and different colors wasn't demerara though it was um something i can like fancy the crystals yeah they're like crystals that's yes. what they look like what were they why why did we have them it was still it was some sort of demerara but oh, i think it? it hadn't been crushed quite oh, so much it, yeah she used to have it in a bowl yes it's ever so pretty it sort of looked amber colored yeah yeah, yeah. that's what these are reminding me of yeah I haven't ever seen that since. Can you still get it? I, I really don't know. I've not looked for it. Not seen it in years. Much, mm. Look at the stripes on the agate. And the thing about agate that I love is that it keeps its gloss. Don't you think that? Give it a good old buff up and it looks dead, dead glossy. And I really like that. Now, what about these twisted, elongated rice beads, though, Frankie? How would you work them? Well, as you've got them now, they look lovely, don't they? But they, I think they look really good with um, a chain coming from them. I, I like the twistiness of them. These would be great in steampunk as well, because they're just those sorts of colours, aren't they, again? Would you make flowers out of them, or would they be main elements of a necklace or a bracelet? How would they work for you? You could make flowers, because you could do it where you put the wire through and you twist it down behind and do the, the, do the twist. They'd be quite pretty. Um, you could actually make one, two, three flowers mm. to go and the re use the rest on as the... So you could make the whole necklace of the same sort of gemstone. That, that would be lovely, because we don't often do that, do we? No, you no. Know, we usually sort of have something else to go with it, yeah. and that would be really quite nice. All one consistent piece. Yes, yeah. yes. A really lovely warm colour that anybody can wear. Any skin tone, any hair tone. Strands that give you pattern as well as colour and shape as well as anything else. And 9 95 they're five pounds a strand. Uh, come and get, grab them while you can. NBG C29, don't forget our text messages. What are you up to today? What are you up to? Have you got all your Christmas stuff done? If I order some stuff online, will it come before Christmas or is it too late now? It should, what are we, the sixth today? It should be, should Would do. Would it be all right? I, I wouldn't promise, nobody oh, could I've promise that. sorts of things I've got to buy. But it, it, it should do, but if you, get much, if you get much later than this, I think you might be having a job. Yeah, I might. The boy wants a gaming chair. Oh, right. <sighs> gaming chair, what's that about? Was He's it, a, it's it's still in the doghouse over those uh, FIFA players he bought, 900 quid late. <gasps> On Friday it was 200 and something, by Monday it was 900. FIFA yeah, bought FIFA players and he said to me, but I did have the best team I've ever seen. Yeah, I was but like, I bet but it cost me 900 quid, so he was like, I didn't mean to. I bet he sold half of them a, a few minutes later. This is I don't what know. my boys do. They're, I don't know. I've, I've said to my, my older grandson, who's absolutely potty on it, the same thing, and the cards, and the, you know, buying the points and so on. I said, when I give you pocket money, if you, you know, if you've bought sweeties, at least you've enjoyed the sweeties. It's something, yeah. you know, you've had it. They don't, they're but obsessed, if, but aren't this they? Is, yeah, exactly. And, and, and all of this is, it's, it's virtual. It's not even real. real. It's, it's real it's, to it's, them, though. Real to them. They love it. And then you sell your player straight after and you've used up your points. So. I don't get involved. He's told me. He keeps doing the live thing and I go in and say, give me a kiss my prince. He's like, mummy, everyone can hear you. I'm on Xbox Live. Don't call me my prince. <laughs> mm, he goes, <laughs> you're right, my prince. He is my little prince. Now, look at these. Oh, they're so round. They're going to be amazing with the amethyst. Look at these purple pearls. Deep purple pearls. These are lush. I love them. These are really deep, this colour. Again, I, you know, actually want to put my torch on these so you can see that they are purple. Can you see? So they are really, because they're very, very deep, deep purple. A little bit like, a little bit like the, the garnet that we have and things where it's so deep. 
a bit like the, the deep uh, purple wire as well. You can see these are purple. They're, they're, these are amazing. They're so round. And when you see a pearl that's this round, they are usually a little bit more expensive because they're worth more as a very, very round pearl. Or even uh, when you see them sort of those leg shapes and they're ringless they can be more expensive then as well. So when you've got perfection in a pearl, these are between seven and six mil, they are round. <gasps> oh, do you know, you've got to get these. I would get these just to get them valued. I think that it's a great idea to grab a strand that's a super duper price. And all you need to do is put one pearl in each ear. And I think you can sell those earrings for 10 pounds, which means you're going to, you're going to potentially make a good profit from these. Uh, and when you see opportunities like that, again, like I said, just grab them. And this is super value. There's not out, much out there that you can buy for seven pounds and 95 pence is there and if you've been Christmas shopping you'll appreciate that now these are going to make lots of lovely gifts for people these are going to make and what a colour if you haven't got these deep purple pearls they're genuine freshwater pearls what a price I was Frankie. just going to ask you do you really mean they're freshwater pearls they're they not, are they're real not they're not shell pearls no god they are beautifully ground aren't they when you appreciate the work that goes into creating a shell I pearl know, yeah that would be a very sound price. It would, but that for real pearls, that's that's beautiful, isn't it? Even more, I mean, you think about how the oyster, the irritant, I mean, how it all works. These are genuine, natural, natural, from when, an oyster when, pearls. When you, when you see them there, as I can see them on the screen now, as the viewers oh. come, I presume, that is the, that is the new... Um, colour isn't it for next season mm. a lot of that colour is in there so my goodness wouldn't you be on trend if you bought those now and started making jewellery with them yeah absolutely and, and so many of you are, are multi-buying these and I'm so I'm glad I'm not surprised it's 7 it's a it is a brilliant <laughs> it, price it tag. is it is LNR 017 is your item code 795 <laughs> it's extra madness! <laughs> Jackie's got two. Jerry Mickley Maisie Sides got two. Debbie in the West Midlands has got two. Julie in West Glamorgan's got two. Rosemary, two. Jacqueline in Gloucestershire, two for you. Catherine, two for you. Karen, two for you. Absolutely loads of you are multi buying these. Uh, make sure you do check out baskets. Whew. Two would be the, the price I would expect for one. Do you yes, know, do you know if what you're mean? buying two. So, so yes. if, if people have bought two, it's the price I would have expected they would be just for, for one, one strand. strand. So you're getting super duper value. Absolutely gorgeous. They're lovely. They are. Do you like topaz, Frankie? Because we don't get a lot of it, do we? I do. I do. And it's my grand. It's my younger grandson's birthstone. Oh, how old is he? He's just been nine. I was going to say just. It would have been so the same yes. age as Max. He's in the same yes, year he, as Max. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. My two are sort of sandwich your Max because one's ten already gone. He's ten and a half, and the yeah. other one's just been nine last month. So I think your Max comes in between the in two. In between, so, he's a yeah. June baby. Yes. So he's not long been nine. It goes quick though, doesn't it? Oh, doesn't it just? He used to be my little baby. Mm. Now, have a look at this. Gorgeous, glowing topaz. I love this. Now, Mark Smith would be going bananas for this. Topaz is amazing. It's, it's a beautiful. wonderful gemstone and it's got glow. It's got glow. And so many people will tell you that they love topaz. So many people will tell you. And I was quite shocked at this when I started working here four and a half years ago nearly, no five years ago um it's mad isn't it can you believe that glenn i've been here nearly, i've been here five years i have i have mad, isn't it? no when i was at, i was on the other channel first gems and then here so all in all five years isn't it piece, mad piece of furniture now definitely well it's just mad isn't it how it goes like blunk and then, you know, suddenly you're five years down the line. Now, of course, I used to act a bit more proper then. Now oh. you know me, it's like, where else would I go? <laughs> Never understand me. <laughs> Although I did used to think that in my old works, I used to walk in there and I'd be like, you know, like I am. Sometimes go to work in my pyjamas and slippers. Uh, and they knew me, you, you know. Won't. It's funny, isn't it? And you got people have got to get used to you when you <laughs> when you go into a new job or something, and people don't know how mad you are, and you can't quite be your <laughs> normal mad self because you have to be a bit proper. You know, you got to at least act act a little bit proper. Now, 
well, like, this is me as normal now. You're just used to me, aren't you? Whereas if I go and pick up the kids from school, you know I'm proper Jenny then. Sometimes. Now, anyway. No, I mean improper Jenny. You know, like professional Jenny. Look at these. <laughs> <laughs> like me as friends come around and they're like, your mum's actually mad. They think it's all right. Me is horribly embarrassed. I'm like, what should we do then? And they're like, nothing, because we're doing some stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to come with you. And they're like, no. You know, it's sad, isn't it? I bet uh, she's not really, I bet she's not really um, thinking you're mad. I no, because I let them all stay over at my house. Yeah, I bet they she like thinks it. you're a wonderful mother, really. But she wouldn't say it. <sighs> No, she 13. does say it, actually. Oh, does she? Well, that's good She's then. a good girl, good yeah. Then. She loves her mama. Now, she knows what's good for her, that's yes. why. <laughs> she knows who batters her toast. Look at this. Was that it's weird? Yeah, it was a bit, sorry. Uh, you know, I meant to say the mouth that feeds her, that kind of, the hand that feeds her, yeah. Not the mouth. <laughs> 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 and the sad thing, the scary thing is I'm in charge of two children. Uh, no, you have got... <laughs> And I do things like that. I will say to her, don't bite the mouth that feeds you. And then it'll make me look stupid. Cause she'll be like, OK, I think you mean hand. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to be mad and I'm getting it all wrong. Now, you know, oh, you feel yeah. it though, mothers out there, when you say something and they're like, I think you mean this. You're like, shut up, question me. Now, <laughs> don't answer back. Get to your room. <laughs> and don't slam the door. Oh, no, I take it off yeah, the hinges take it off they do that. Absolutely. Now, look at this. Your gorgeous white topaz. Oh, I love it. I love it. November's birth gems. Look at these, though. These are, you'll love these. Little mini quads. Oh, I love, I love CDBs. And I love them because you're getting them in a genuine gemstone. If you try and actually acquire genuine gemstone CDBs, you'll have, an, you'll have a job, mind. Look at these. Oh. This is a lovely bundle, lovely very bundle. elegant, it very is, classy, it? and it'll go very well with the next kit as well, actually. Yes, it would. Oh, yes, it would, definitely. Oh, it will, it will, it will. It will, it will, it will. Oh, yes, it will. Oh, no, it won't. <laughs> Sorry, I went we to... We got into Panto. I went to Panto then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boom. no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought I did represent a Panto dame. <laughs> <laughs> now, eight ninety-five for three. Oh gosh, eight ninety-five for three. Outstanding. Nog C78 is your item code. Very spectacular. You would pay that for the CD beads. Try and find clear quartz CD beads. It's so difficult. Wonderful in beaded kumihimo, by the way. Wonderful in micro macame, by the way. You've got 10 carats in those little two mils. Uh, you've got 190 carats in the white topaz. Uh, and uh, topaz, topi. And then you have got uh, black agate rounds that are what in circumference, Sir Philippe? They are 12 by 12, my French friends. Vera, Joan, you've got yours. Terry, Catherine, Stephanie in Texas, Jory Baker in Great London Town. Uh, they're also, to my uh, English and American friends, they are the same millimetreage. Uh, do they use millimetres in France? Who knows how they measure anything? Ain't no. If you get Glenn and millimetre. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. It works. Do you do that thing where you go to France and speak English but just with a French accent? <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> can you tell me where I get the wine? Do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. 895 over these. We do this. We visit foreign countries and we think it's okay to just speak in their accent, but with our language. They and still don't understand us. Slightly like, louder. Even worse. Slightly louder. <laughs> yeah. Why do we think that foreign people are deaf when we're talking to them? I bet they hate the English. Like, really loud and just can't understand them. Uh, loads of you there. Keep coming for this. I like it when you go to America and they say to you things like, and you go really English because if you don't do that, they think you're Australian because they, they can't hear, hear the, the difference accent, between yeah. an Australian, whereas we can. But you know, you can. Uh, they, oh, you're Australian. You're like, no, I am not. I you go really it. Hugh Grant, don't you, when you're when you're in America? I do. I've never been to America. You should go. Yet. It's an amazing place. An amazing place. Mm. Oh my gosh, you're Australian. You're like, no, I'm not. I am from, I, I know the Queen, you know, you go on all that. <laughs> she, she is a relative of mine. <laughs> of course.
course I know the Queen. You know what, talking of the Queen, it's time for Frankie's next designer inspiration. Well, Frankie had the most amazing strand. I'm just looking at it now. Oh, yes. And it's a strand that Frankie said, right, first of all, my second kit has got the most outstanding strand. And you said, Frankie, I just had to use it on its own. I wasn't putting it near anything else. Why was that? Well, because it was just so beautiful. And um, it, the, li the light, as I was sort of sitting, I was sitting in my lounge, um, and I, the, the light was sort of over my right shoulder. And I could see that beautiful garnet colour. And it's, it's just... It's just beautiful. It's it's got the depth of colour that those rubies did, you know, in in its own in its own way. Do you know what I mean? It's oh, not I the do. The same colour, but it's got that same depth. I do. And oh, the television's just that? not doing it justice. It it really is the most beautiful colour. It is. Look at that. No, I'm not very good with this torch. Isn't very strong. Oh, it's gone out. It's rubbish. That torch. Look, if I can shine it directly into my eye and it's not even doing anything. I didn't even blink. Now, what I want you to look at with this strand is that they've got the drops have got flat bottoms. Did you yes, notice that? Yes, I did notice that. Well, I, really I think that's very yes, interesting. <laughs> Are you coming back out with your? Thank you, your magic wand. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, isn't it? look, look, look! That's now that's some colour right there. This is a, a strand oh, of absolute yeah. distinction. It's gorgeous. No. Sorry, did I blind you? <laughs> yeah, see that? That does hurt. <laughs> Two people were looking at their telly and they went, oh. oh. I'm so sorry if I just made you go. Thing is, I shouldn't shine shine anything in the one eye that actually works, should I? <laughs> Play on my fire there, Jenny. I wondered if you'd shone the, tor the torch before in the eye that doesn't work and then it wouldn't have made a difference anyway. <laughs> sort of thing I would do. Sort of thing I could do. <laughs> Shall I tell you a story? I went to the hospital, right? And they ca I can't see anything from this side, so the uh, nurse covers this eye that I can see out of up and went right read from the board and I went well I can't see anything <laughs> she went, just tell me what you can try and see and I went absolutely nothing, nothing. she hadn't read her notes I was like <laughs> I can't see she's like no no come on just make an effort and I was like look I, I don't know how to see I, can you read your notes and she read her notes zero sight in right eye she went sorry sorry I was like I really can't see just make an effort she was going I was like God, I ain't making it up though <laughs> People and somebody funny, else told you you were too old. Your yeah, sight was oh, and then I went because I couldn't see in the dark properly. And this <laughs> silly little optician. This was just a normal optician. Oh yeah, you were. You're just getting old. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> stupid. She wasn't even. She wasn't even old enough to be having a job in there. I don't think. Anyway, this gorgeous garnet comes with the kit. Uh, it's a 31 centimetre strand of distinction. Frank was very lucky. And then I'm gonna to give to you gorgeous green. So it's very festive already, this kit. Very festive. Little teeny weeny green agates. Then I'm gonna give you some black retail quartz. 300 cash. These are like pebbles, aren't they? No, they're lovely. I like those. But then we're going to get a bit chain tassel. Oh, no, we're not. We've got another strand. Yeah. Higgledy, piggledy, black agate. I like these. They're like little bubbles of randomness. So I can relate to them. Now, you are going to get lots of chain. So you are going to get the square link chain. Massive ovals. You get a metre of massive ovals. Then I'm going to give you the black chain as well, a metre of that. Yeah, a lot in this kit, don't you? Ooh, Marley and Marley. Now, you're also getting 
So these are like frosted jump rings, Frankie, aren't yes, they they're lovely. lovely? They're really nice. I did think about doing chain mail. I thought, no, I won't. I'll use them differently. But they were super in the kit. They did help me to do all sorts of really interesting things. Now you get a packet of 100 of these. Is that right, Philip? And they're 9.1 mil, and they are the frosted aluminium, and they're saw cut, straight saw cut. Great for chain mail. Great for. Well, we'll see what Frank has done with this kit, and then I'm going to give you some waxed cord. You are going to get the white, the grey, and the black, and it's in one millimetre thickness, and you get 10 metres of each. You should be paying 46 pounds and 50 pence for all of this you've got lots of chain you've got the jump rings you've got all of the gemstones as well oig c89 is your item code it's called chain reaction i've told him not to call kits that you know i've got a big fear of diana ross 28 pounds 95 pence i don't know what it is can't listen to diana ross it gives me really? the literal oh, go really? mad 28.95 not because she's not to Hallington, i'm sure she is literally start my brain goes crazy i don't know whether i was associated with her in a past life don't know anyway 28.95 oig c89 <laughs> is your item code let's go over to frankie and see exactly the outstanding things that she's made with this kit excuse me <coughs> Now, oh, are you ready for us? Yes. I love this necklace that you've made. I love it. And I love the crochet that you've done. And I'm going to be honest with you. I get frightened of cord unless it's just too little. I, I, I can't work with cord. I don't know what it is. But you've really inspired me by crocheting oh, with it. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm always desperate to get my hands on the textiles like that because I don't get them very often. So when they, when I had the, um, the cord in this, I just thought I've got... To, and it was called Chain Reaction. And so I thought... Don't say I'll, it. I'll chain it. Good, sorry, good. Sorry, don't sorry. sing it, though, will no, you? No, I won't, I won't sing it. Look um, at that. So it just it just called out to me to be loads and loads and loads of layers and and it I mean it's 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 quite a, an in look isn't it lots of very Delaware Prada yes yeah, love moment. it I love so. it jumper dress black absolutely black tights black yeah. boots this over the top absolutely yeah gorgeous I love the little charms that you've got on this as well. I actually am going to go out there and say it's one of the best things I've seen with cord, done with cord. Oh, thank you. Like I said to you, I, I mean, I can't kumahimo and I can't macrame. Well, I can macrame. Um, this is really inspiring. Oh, really good, inspiring. Thank you. Well done. Love it. I really love it. You've plaited in the neck. Oh no, what is that? No, it's still it's still um, crochet. Crochet. That's yeah. lovely. And then I used. You say I can. I said about the jump rings. That is a gorgeous matching set. And I'm thinking Chanel. I'm thinking Prada. I'm thinking Gucci. This is. This is very thick, glossy magazine. Seeing the stars out shopping, sunglasses on, big handbags, this kind of jewellery. Really love this. I wanted to echo, you know those bracelets that sort of wrap around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried making it long and wrapping it around, and it didn't quite work. But doing several layers with the black and the white, and then fastening them at the back. Now, now you've brought them all into one exactly. line instead of having them all as and, separate and pieces. And as you can yes. see, the jump rings allowed me to do that. So the jump rings attach the, the, the layers to each other. Other, um, quite randomly really I absolutely love these earrings I love them well, I think, they're Jenny aren't they I tell you I, you've made some really wonderful jewelry out of this kit and I think it just goes to show Thank where you. you can go with all these different gemstones that was from the first kit wasn't it no that's the labradorite the labradorite came with the first kit did it yeah but we'll have a look at it Look at that. Gorgeous. I yeah, that's that Lambertite from the first kit. It's oh, gorgeous, right. isn't it? OK. Sorry. No, oh, you don't. Then. Don't you be sorry, my love. Look at this. This is what we're talking about with the garnet. Amazing. So this is one of your favourites. Yes, it was. Love. I love this. Look at the glistening. So expensive looking. And I love that. It's like Cinderella's carriage there in the middle. I love it. I think that's fantastic. Well done to Frankie. And then something really different. So you've got three different collections completely different kit. looks yeah fantastic 
I mean, have a look at the beady beads. I could, I could have mixed them, but I didn't want to. I wanted to do something different with each I'm glad. one. I'm glad you did so that. Because, because, you know, people need to see that you, if you buy a kit like this, um, it, you know, it's a great kit, but you don't have to mix them all together you can use them as they are yeah you can absolutely separately. you can and you can create different looks and you can have different collections by buying these things in bulk it works Definitely. very well indeed Definitely. well done Frankie which piece are you going to show us today I'm going to show the the, the big chain Good, that's, one. that's my favorite <laughs> I love this I love it well done thank you well um, as it as I say it was called um, chain reaction and so I just I just wanted to do lots of chains. So there's there's obviously the silver chain that comes in. We there. have to stop referencing the song so, chain sorry, reaction, sorry, sorry. or I'm going to start itching. Okay, we're well, already going. That's that. Yeah, lengths of chain. Will that do? Yes. It was about lengths of chain. Yes, thank and you. So, thank so, you. Um, you know when certain things drive you potty. Yeah, I do. That's I do. And there's another song that drives me potty. Abracadabra. If you played that at me, I would have a breakdown. I don't know. Good. Do you, know, you must have had stuff going I on. I know what the abracadabra oh, song you do. was. Okay. Yeah. My friend Carlin Lee, his mum didn't have a girl and she used to always ask me around. She used to play that song over and over again and I used to just kind of want to go home but she wanted to like plait my can. hair and stuff and I was like, I want to go home and climb a tree. I don't want to be here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she used to do that all the time and now I can't listen to that song because it reminds right. me of wanting, feeling trapped. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, there are several different bits to this, and I, um, obviously you can see there the chain. There's the the, the, um, the chain itself. I've used the round links from it because you can actually um, cut it, and I'm going to do. Well, that's that, what so. you spiraled with. Yeah, that's oh, that, yes. that's what I spiraled because. And nice and flat. I, I love it. I love yes. I love this chain, but I didn't like it with this kit just as it is, I, it didn't work for me. And so I thought, what else can I do? I loved the round links, and so I used the round links quite a lot on it. Um, but I, I, you can see here, one of, the, one of the pieces here, I've actually crocheted round it. Just here. Uh -huh. Can you see, I crocheted round that. Yeah. There. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. Um, but the first thing I wanted to do was go through the crochet because lots of people have said to me, I wish I could crochet. And do you remember last time I was here, I did the big, I did um, the weave with the large wires. Right. And people said they could really see it clearly. And so I thought if I tried doing some of the stitches I want to do on this with the large gauge thread, of yeah. thread people would be able to see thank you so don't try because Sheila this. does this as well and she's so wonderful at crochet Absolutely. and so is Linda so yeah. are you fantastic um, I know Gemma loves to crochet as well don't try and buy this because I think this is sold out okay I'm not sure it might be back in stock soon oh my okay fair enough but I love it this stuff is just gorgeous and when you everybody's saying positive things about it, it don't you think it looks exactly like Viking weave it does it really it's it's made like that as well because I think it I think you can actually it's like open that it up and, yeah yeah yeah, yeah very similar so um, so this is this is to try to help those people who can't crochet to sort of get going and and in this um, in this piece that I'm going to show you it simply is chain link to begin with it's just doing the chain now the way I make my beginning lots everybody does differently <coughs> the way, way that um, I do mine is I make a, a loop then I put the loop with its end on top and make a slip knot. Oh, okay, yeah, we okay. can do that. So I'll do that again. Make a like loop. Like how we tie a horse up, yeah? Yeah, similar. Go through the middle, no? That has yeah. to be through yeah, the middle that's there. how we tie a horse rope. Yeah, like that. Mm. There's an extra step that I remember with horses, but Looping you through, know yeah. better than me. Right, now I've got here three different sizes of, of um, crochet hooks. And for me, this is, this is crucial, and people don't norm normally talk about the, the hooks very much, but if I was to use um, a big hook with a thin gauge of, of um, thread, mm. it would make a very loose weave. Okay, so the smaller the head, the tighter the weave. Yes, the, th the thinner the actual thing. So I've got a three millimeter, mm -hmm. 3.5, and then this one's a five. 
So for a very thick thread like this, I wouldn't go any big. I wouldn't go any bigger than a five for this. Um, lots of people might do. You know, is a really chunky one. Mm. But I, I like the tension when it's a bit tighter. Okay. And and for me, it's all about the tension with crochet. So okay. I, I hold, and I, it, it's it's really good to try it with something fat like this because you can hold it. It makes sense to go bigger with the yes, wire, with the absolutely. Um, Just chain mail. Go bigger first because your brain will get around absolutely. it. Absolutely. And it's something to, to hold on to. Okay. So let's see if I can do this. So hang on a minute. Exactly yeah, what did okay. you just do? Because you tightened it onto okay, there. What then. I did, I'd let's made my look. I'd made my loop. I put my crochet hook through. Just uh, just about so, there. That's it, my love. Okay. And I just tightened the loop. So now my loop is stitched tight. Okay. Just like that. Now I'm going to hold on to that first knot, that loop that I made with my thumb, and I'm going to have the the first bit coming out through my palm, through there. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to, th th a lot of people sort of have this loose, that's fine if it works for you, but I was always taught to keep this bit tight and this is where the tension comes from. Now, lots of people, if you don't mind that your loops are different sizes, that's fine. But if you want to keep it really neat and have your loops the same sizes, then you really need to keep the tension. Okay. So I wrap my next, my, my long end, if you like, I wrap this over the top of my third finger. There right. we are, stop. Then I go underneath the next one. It's sort of like weaving it. Can you see? Oui. I've woven the, the thread under and over my fingers. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to hold my crochet hook um, quite firmly and catch a, 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 a thread around it and then I'm going to pull it through. Well that's easy, I can do that. Right. Yes. Now here, if you let it get big, I'll, I'll do it wrong to begin with. Well your loop will be different to the other ones. But can it is see, easier to do it like that. It is, but can you see they're sort of getting all... Higgledy. They, they get higgledy-piggledy. So, the thing with crochet is easy to take apart. So I'll start right from the beginning, make a loop. Pull it through. Pull it through. Tight it goes. Tight it onto my needle. Thread over, under, over. There we go, look. Can you see? Yeah, there we are. I can. Right. It feels further over. Is this camera being moved? It's just me. Right, so catch it and pull it through. But then hold it again and don't let this loop get too big. It's important that you keep your tension, especially when you're going to do um, just the chain, like I've done it on the necklace. And it's just a case of keeping it the same tension all the way through. And then when you get, can you see now, that's much better. Yes, lovely. Look, they're all and that's the... very much easier than I thought it was going to be. For it's all in that first hook, actually, isn't it? For me, it? it's, it's this tension bit, Jenny. You have to have something to hold on to, so leave yourself a reasonable length, right? Mm -hmm. And then over, under, over and you can actually really put even my, my hands because then really it'll keep taut that. Won't it keeps it? it taut and that's where you, you know like with knitting mm -hmm. you sort of have the I can't the, really knit I used to not? be able to but I can't remember how I'm just giving myself a bit more wire right mm -hmm. so again loop and round and through and that's I'm, easier than I thought I'm it was, not letting it get away from me can you see and I can get quite fast, although, as I say, this is quite this is You're quite getting the thick. rhythm of it, don't you? You're getting the way. rhythm. And by the time you've done a little bit, you are actually making quite a, a loop. Now, you can't... I mean, that, that, I just, like that. that just looks splendid to me. I, I love that. I love that texture with this stuff. It's absolutely gorgeous. We do... We've just realised that there's been a massive underuse of the word splendid. Wonderful word, isn't it? And, oh, crumbs. Crumbs and splendid. Good words. Yes. 
Thank you. Are, you, the... are you being facetious? No, or... I mean it. I love words. Splendid. Right, it's a brilliant splendid. word. I like splendid. But it's like saying, oh, crumbs. I don't say that enough either, because that's good. I often say crikey. Oh, crikey. My mum says, that's oh, it's so alive and crumbs. It's very old-fashioned, isn't it? There we go. You want to show me something? I'm going to give everybody these. Oh, good. Lovely golly. Colour, yeah, I say they? golly. I used to say, oh, golly. It's nice. It's a bit Enid Blyton to say splendid, isn't it? Lashings. Yes. That's another word we don't. Let's have lashings of ginger beer. Lashings of gravy. Lashings of anything. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Gemstones, why not? Lashings of wine. <laughs> Let me give it you... Go quite, it's not quite the same with wine, is it? Lashings mm, can wine. you have lashings of wine? Yeah, because you can have lashings of ginger beer. Yeah, but that's not wine. It's not... It's, lashings isn't a refined enough word for wine. Oh, OK, darling. No. OK. We must let's have consistency. Think. Anyway, let's have lashings of eye pins, shall we? <laughs> lashings of splendid eye pins. That's what we're going to have. We're going to have wonderful <laughs> shell pearls and the coinciding wonderful headbands. Just steampunk accessories kit. I love it. It's going to be so easy. I, I think these are, are, are really terrific. Another word, terrific. <laughs> Terrific! Sounds like Billy Bunter, you remember him? QOG C43 <laughs> is your item code. Three millimetre eyes, 30 millimetre long, 100 of your eye pins are brilliant for adding elements together. QOG C43 is your item code. Six ninety five for these. The hairbands are beautiful, aren't they? They are they? definitely. If you want to do a lovely fascinator, and you've got the the thing is, you can make it all match. You can tie Absolutely. it all in. Maybe you want to make a rosary link bracelet and necklace to go with this. You could do that. It'd all be lovely. Six ninety five. Q O G C forty three is your item code. Get yourself buying these. Look at that lovely chocolate colour as well. Very steampunky. I would put uh, some lovely sort of rose pink polymer clay pieces on, is, on there. This is a lovely colour. That would look well. lovely with this, the turquoise. Yeah, it's very rich together, actually. That brightens up. That becomes a little bit more Grecian when you put those mm. together, perhaps. Yes. Or a bit gladiator. -esque. Yes, because this is almost... Um, um, where's that place? Um, um, begins with Santorini Blue, isn't it? Oh, Santorini Blue. I like that. She's coming up with them today, this one. She's, if you would like a copy of the Frankie Word Dictionary, <laughs> then we shall request it. 6.95 at QOGC43 is your item code. Thank you, my dear heart. You're very welcome. Now, I've got uh, those lovely pendant findings to show you now, which uh, we saw Michelle Naylor make a gorgeous open um, locket with these. Have a look. Now you can cut the loops off, you can keep the loops. My obsession with these is that I want to make a pearl uh, five road necklace and keep these either side of the decolletage that Beautiful. keeps them in a row. Uh, I, I love these and oh, this God. is my favourite. These are my favourites because they're the rose gold ones. You get three of these, great for belts and stuff like that. Now I launched these so I'm, I'm very much into them. I chose these as one of my launchy things we get to choose as presenters what we're allowed to launch sometimes we're not you know sometimes somebody else gets there first but I got these so I was quite proud of them uh, now I'm gonna give oh, to you and I cool. love this and it reminds me of what your watch yes it does I, I do think row this up I I'm about to give you some gorgeous chains what do I how many of these do I get is it two a meter each it's beautiful how amazing does this look as a bracelet you get two at one millimeter at one meter it's beautiful Oh, this is the, this is this bundle. These are on their own, are they? Oh, now he tells me. Those That's are in why there are only those on the picture. Jen. Nine ninety-five. That'll be it. These make these are reminding me of owls, and I don't know why. Do they? They're like owl eyes. Yeah, these would be good owl eyes. Two of these without them, wouldn't they? And then you could do some fancy sort of work with them. Is that just my brain? Maybe. Look at the owl. picture again. Why did th that reminds me of owls? Yeah. Oh, I know why. Because look, the bale at the bottom looks like the beak, and the other two are the eyes. See, have you gaffed me now, Claire? I can see. Oh, it. Like what I did there. Uh, N A J D eighty six. 
Uh, have you used these, Lady Lou? No, I've never been given those, so I've not used those. You can have them as a challenge if you would like, if you've got time, or have you not got time? I've probably got time. She probably has. She probably has got time. Nine ninety-five. There you go. Thank you. We're going to sling them at you and see what you come out with. Okay. Now we've got that chain that I love. That is beautiful. Love that I time. mean, it can be really fine and gorgeous, like you said, with that b bracelet. But it would also be brilliant in um, in steampunk. I mean, it's it's you know, you could roll it round into a coil, make it look like a fabulous sort of put it like a you know sort of a cross and round make it fasten two gears together all sorts of lovely ideas with it what about rowing around and around and around a cabochon with it framing oh definitely yes i love it let's put this together hey we haven't had any pyrite like this for ages proper pyrite the actual color of pyrite we haven't seen that for ages get it get it get it because a lot of our pyrite's been coated lately with different colors It's got, this is how it, yeah, I love it. That's, that's the colour I've been looking for in my pyrite, like the classic colour, sort of a bronzy gold colour, isn't it? Gorgeous. And that's very steampunk as well. He's oh, it's a very steampunk bundle. very clever, that Phil, isn't he? He's got it all sussed this afternoon. Look what he's called it. Let off some steampunk. I did hear the other day that, he, that he'd, got, he'd got that as a title, and I've been waiting to see what it was like, so it's... And here it's it is. A, it's a good we've been waiting. We've been chomping at the bit for that one, Philip. Seven ninety-five. Well done, CSG C fifty-six. To everyone who has got this, uh, and of course your extended money-back guarantee stretches to everything that I'm giving you today, thirty-first of January next year. Next actual year. Are you going out for a bit of a New Year's shindig? I don't know yet. Um... I'm usually, when I was with my old partner, I used to go to Tenerife, uh, not Tenerife, um, Gran Canaria for oh. New, New Year's because he had family there and that's where he went to when he left. We so, won't talk about him. No, don't it's talk not about worth him. it. So I don't know, I don't know what I, whether I'll do anything with Ted or not. Well, you'll just have a nice time, appreciate each other. Oh, absolutely. That's what you'll do. Definitely. I will be eating cheese and watching Jules Holland, I've decided. And having an early night, you said. Yeah, I'm going to watch Jules Holland in bed with cheese and the kids. <laughs> it's my idea of heaven, that Sounds is. Sounds brilliant. Us all in the bed watching telly together, I love it. Sounds good. Taking it in turns to get various snacks. It's wrong to eat in bed, but I enjoy it. Oh, I do. I do it. I do it. Especially free. cheese and crackers. <laughs> yeah, just don't put the crackery crumbs in my half, Jen. No, I won't. I won't. <laughs> Seven ninety-five CSG. So there's never any crumbs left. I hoover the lot up. Uh, CSG C fifty-six. Let off some steampunk. That's now let's brilliant. continue. That's really with brilliant. your lovely demonstration, please, my dear. Heart. Okay. So a, a couple of a couple of other things. Um, so if you just keep on going, you just make a, a chain, which is which is what I did for uh, one of the white strands and one of the black strands to mirror the chain that uh, you know that, that I was using. Um, but you can actually um, make rounds, and the way to do that, I'll, I'll do it off the big one here because it's it's a big piece, is to go back round with your with your needle, okay, mm -hmm. hold it again. Now you've got two little bits on there. Catch one and bring it through both. And this is how you join it together? Yes. <coughs> so that's, uh, that's now made into a circle. So I can start going round in the circle again. Mm -hmm. I can go into the loops or I can go into the centre. Move that. What do you mean you can go into the loops? I well, I could it. actually, sorry, oh, I go could actually go then. through the loops to mm. catch. Uh, but then where would that take that change of pattern, wouldn't it? They, I'm going round in a circle now, so I can go into the... Oh, oh, OK, but then won't it bring uh, them in on the inside, then, if you bring them through? Well, let's see. You'd have to go the other way, you know? No. Sorry. I have to ask awkward questions, don't no, I? No, you don't. It's sorry. fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. Pull it through. Oh, so you're going to go through two and yeah, come go back through out. the oh, two right. again. Okay, yeah. yeah. Go through the two. So that that like that. Or I see. Yeah. For the first row, I would probably instead of going through the loops, I'd probably go through the loops for the second what one. What did you do? How did you do I it? Could you go, did do that, did I could you? go. I could go through. That's easier. I'm going to do that. Go through the very centre of itself, through the centre. So taking. Yeah, but then where am I going to end up? The same. Bring it through. 
right? Oh, that's easier. I'm going to do that. It is for the less fiddly. It is for the first one. Oh, for the first what, and row round. And then when you not. yes, when you get when you finish, so that now catches in there. Don't take any notice of that bit. That's where we started. But you can't go straight in now. Well, you could, but it yes. would be very tight. Oh, I so what it. you need to do now is to make one extra stitch. Yeah. All right. To give you another anchor point. Okay, yeah, and then you're going to go in again. Oh, and that's easier now, you've got sort of more thing. room. Yeah. I still think that way's easier. So, well, yes, so that's what I would do for the first oh, row. Oh, right. and then you've gone through both of them again? Yeah. Okay. That's that's single stitch. Okay, right. sorry. It's all right. I need to get it right in my brain, you see. It again. So I need one in between, mm. just to move me along a little bit, give me a bit that's more space. That's good, because I thought that it would come apart and you'd end up pulling all bits of this no bit. no no it's, 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 re together, it's really good it's it? really good yeah, and I'm making it look more difficult than it actually is yeah. it's just that my hands have been really bad doctor thinks I might have a, a myalgia of some sort what's that uh, polymyalgia I'm not been very well oh keep your gloves on please there keep we go. Warm. So I, if I keep going round like that I can make a circle let's have a look can we tilt that up so yes, we can show sir. to Michael Lovely. So right. this is how I was going to say you could crochet scarves. Of course you can. People might crochet everything. Oh, I've got a crochet top. Well, on the hat, I crocheted one of the flowers, and two of the other flowers were made with the um, the mesh mm. that we do. Um, and what else have I crocheted? Oh, the pendant that I gave to you. Mm. That's got a, a crochet. Oh, and, lovely. Yes, and it has a little sign with the pearlies. And the, what I use for the circle there, instead of going round itself, because it does pull out of the circle, yeah. I used, um, what's it called? Uh, the thing that doesn't, memory wire. Memory wire. The thing that doesn't lose its memory, I was going to say. <laughs> Same thing. Ah. What if Unlike us, which hair on. frequently are losing our memories. <laughs> Right. Oh. So, um, so for the one that's the, the large one that's on there, I decided that I would crochet, and I'll just start this off to show You've you. You've used the wax cord. Can you just tell me how it is to crochet with the wax cord? Is it easy? It's lovely. It's Good. lovely to crochet with, because it actually it holds the knot beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, so I just unwind some to get myself going, and for this one. Um, I, uh, for the white one, I used um, the the uh, point the th the three millimeter ne uh, needle uh, crochet hook, and for the black one that's singly on here, I used the three point five. So although the thread is a one millimeter thread, I'm, yes, a one. Let me get that right. Yes, it's one millimeter thickness. I managed to make. Oh, thank you for that. I can show you now. So I've got a white chain and a black chain, but they're different, slightly different sizes. I need to put my hand behind there, won't I, so you can see. Can you see? Yeah, lovely. They're, sli they're slightly different sizes, only because of the crochet hook. Oh. Because both the threads are one millimetre. The smaller the hook, But if the I use a smaller hood, hook for this one, I got a smaller chain, mm -hmm. and I use a slightly larger one for this one, OK? Mm-hmm. Now, before you go on, I'm okay. going to give everybody... Philip, are these on their own, these lovely... I love these. Oh, I've got, I've I got, love some, them. I've got some of those in, Have the, you? in the whole beads. The, those, I've just noticed these are, those are the bead yeah, caps. These are I've bead got caps. those exact, exact ones when they're fastened together with the whole That's beads. That's right, they're yes. Beautiful. They are gorgeous. Absolutely. Let me show you what I'm talking about, jewellery makers. <clears throat> You're going to love these. I love them. Now, these are very much like the beads that you get in a certain... They are. A certain shop. Yes. It could be Links of London, it could be Pandora, it could be Thomas Sabo. So it was the middle one yeah. I'm talking about, of course. Yes, of course. And um, they're really expensive, but they're lovely. Oh, they're so lovely. Look. Look at the texture. I love the hearts. That's what I love about And no, shall I tell you what else? The rose gold against silver. And the fact that these you've got the sterling silver and the copper together they'd be so expensive if you were buying these to go on your charm bracelets they look really high-end when you put them on a silver chain 
I'd say these are one of our most professional looking findings. They, they look incredibly expensive. They look like you bought them from the jewellers. You get five for $9.95. What do you mean? You can't drop it. He's dropping the price. They just look wonderful. Sterling silver and copper together. <laughs> He's a rascal oh, of a man. Dear. At 6 dollars like, you've got to multi-buy these jewellery makers. This is a great deal. It really is. And if you sell your jewellery on or if you give your jewellery as gifts, they'll be so gratefully received because they look so professional. They do. I will say, you know, like I just said a minute ago, they're one of our most professional looking uh, findings. I just think they're incredibly beautiful. I think they look expensive. I think they are pretty and they're very on trend with what's going on at the moment in the... Um, charm bracelet shops. I think they're lovely. I think they're gorgeous. You, are, you get five of them and they're only $6.95. It, it, it begs belief that you can see these at such high price tags in, in the well-known high street uh, charm makers. Uh, $6.95, We're very busy on the phone lines at the moment for this deal. Make sure you're checking out your baskets for this deal. I can only promise this for today's show. I cannot promise you they're going to be this, uh, really this price good. tag again. $6.95, Gloria, Sarah, Patricia, Jan, Elizabeth, a sport too, Edwina, Glenda, Margaret. I'm seeing a lot of multi buyers. Make sure that you are checking out baskets now. QUDL 43, copper and sterling silver. These are handcrafted as well, which makes all the difference. You know, you've got the quality. The mixture together is just lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. I love them. And the, the fact they've got hearts on as well, that's, I think for me, that's even nicer because. You know the well that's what i would choose yeah yeah because of their hearts they're, they're just a bit, a bit special yeah definitely. you give them to that your loved ones yeah. now i'm going to give to you some more bead oh, caps lovely. Have you, can i use your little awl or your picker your reamer there or something oh sorry. yeah that'd be grand that's thank you now these are all solid sterling stuff with rose gold i'm going to show you the different um designs that we got these are all bead caps so you can put a bead underneath them or you can use them in other ways now the reason I love these is have you ever seen the jellyfish earrings that are very uh, Thomas uh, Jean Schlumberger no. gorgeous so expensive these would work very well all the chain coming down oh yeah underneath in earrings gorgeous gorgeous for that so no beads just chain chain just chain. chain 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 so expensive look and I would probably use silver I think and then beads at the end so you're gonna get four of those ones you're gonna get five of the oh sorry five of those ones you get five of each one's, oh that one's gone inside oh, the other nice, they can't these good. ones are lovely <laughs> that little they Chinese of, hats <laughs> yeah they, do you know what they remind me of the um, smash advert <laughs> oh yes that? yes <laughs> I love these bomb bash can smash you get five of those and then you get five of the little ones which I think is going to oh, work very gorgeous. well if you um, if you want to do a varying piece with the same findings so it's not often we get findings in different sizes That's so this is great solid sterling silver you've got 15 pieces in total of solid stones of one rose gold 15 <laughs> individual pieces for just eight ninety five, again another outstanding value deal for you. Incredible value. Fifteen elements of solid stones over and, and rose gold. It's just wonderful. RVG C eighteen is your item code. Just fabulous. So eight hundred six triple four six double five. All the W's dot jurymaker dot com. You know, now, sometimes a little bead cap can just make the difference. Oh, it something does. Something looking nice and something looking really nice outstanding high, yeah high end. yeah 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 absolutely now i've got some chain as Ooh, well that's nice have we got this chain but we've only got a few Ooh. we've got a meter of copper chain isn't it lovely that rose gold sorry oh it's rose gold on it look, copper it, it, yeah it looks coppery though doesn't it it's supposed it beautiful lovely? rose gold yeah I love rose gold more and more each time I see it. Actually, yeah. I think it's very, very beautiful. These, this would be good for a big over-the-head necklace for a jumper dress. Very wintry. All great for a charm bracelet. Wonderful for belts as well. There's ever so lots you can you can actually do with chain like this. We haven't got many of these, so if you've been looking for this kind of chain, then grab it now because we've only got a few. QWA Z19, a meter, a whole meter. I love the variation of smooth, 
textured, smooth textured, yes, do you? Yes, lovely. It's seven ninety five for a whole metre of rose gold on copper chain. You couldn't uh, buy a belt for that price, could you? No, not like this, with that quality. And then have you got those big agates this morning? Oh, yes. Oh, the big green ones we kicked off the show. They'd yes. be gorgeous together. Seven ninety five. This is very popular. We don't have many. Don't like missing out, then please check out your baskets. I think it's first come, first served with this one. QWA, Z19, the links are 12 by 9. We're going to continue on with the wonderful Frankie Doodle. Right. Where so, are you at? Well, what I've done so far is chop off one of these ovals because I'm going to... I'm going to crochet into one of those ovals. Oh, okay. okay. Crochet then, into it? Yes. Oh, yeah. And okay. Then, and then I'm going to do another one so that we can be ready for the other, the other surprise as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, again, I've got the grey here. It's just the, the one I picked up. It doesn't really matter. I did mine in the black, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So, again, now I've got the um, point three. Right. The, three, the three mil, rather. Uh, and I'm going to make the same sort of curly whirly. Curly whirly. Start, gather up. So this is exactly what we did before. Okay. So when I get to that point, what I need to do is hold the tail and also the oval. Go through the oval and catch. Come out and come catch and go through both. Do a stitch just to move me on. The same again, go through the oval, catch, come back again. I'm sure I keep my tension. Go through and catch again and pull through both. Do it again, through. No, I need a stitch. Don't forget the stitch in between. Stitch in between down and through. Through she goes. Um, and the thing is to, to tell whether you've done your extra stitch or not, if I hold that like that, can you see here I've got two stitches. Yeah, I was going to say that you've got two. Right. So what I need to do is to do my between stitch because that just moves me on. And then and you're now I've on just stitch. got the one. Okay. So now I'm going to go in again. This is like and pulls it back through then. That's right. Stitch in and stitch. And I go all the way around doing that, okay? So that's what I finish up with and it's all the way around doing that. Okay? Mhm. Mm now, th that's, that's all that first row is. So I'm not going to carry on, but you would actually go you all the way. But how about keeping it together? How do I do that? When you cut it off, will it all come undone? No. You just no, because it it's, like it's all, all linked. But I haven't finished yet, Jenny, because I, if you can see on that one, I'm doing this one here. Yeah, yeah. That's my first row that I've done. Oh, so you're going to do a massive row. And so I'm going to do another row round. But you've round. done petals here. How yeah, I'm going to show what you're doing. you. All right. So, but I, I would have gone all the way around, obviously. So I'm just going to turn it back to front and come back the other way. Okay. As if I'd gone all the way around. So I make myself a stitch to to move. Mm -hmm. That's my stitch to move, and you usually do need that because it gives you just enough room to get into the next lo li link. Then I'm going to do as many as I like here. I think I'll do, I think I'll do three. Please myself, really. So now I've got my link to move and three, and I'm going to go into one of the loops. I need a bit more off the roll. Into the loop, pull it through, and pull the next loop through both. And then I can see whether that's a big enough petal or not. I don't think that is, so I'll, I'll, I'll do a couple of extras. I'll do five next time. So I need to do my link to move on, and I'll do five. One, two, three, four, five. five. And you notice I'm keeping, <coughs> I'm keeping my thumb on the tension all the time. And you're keeping the cord on the reel? I'm keeping the cord on the reel at the moment because if I cut it off, I, m I might not have enough. Okay. It's a bit like working with wire. Yeah. You know. 
uh, and you don't need to cut it it's fine so now I've got a longer loop this time I mean you can do shorter longer shorter longer mm. you can make whatever pattern you like so I'm going to go then into the next loop and this is what bonds it together and makes it a petal exactly so I'm going to catch it through okay mm -hmm. that's a better petal so then I catch and bring it through two again okay mm -hmm. and then one can you see now I've got a much bigger petal this time I had a smaller one there and I've got a bigger one here can you see that mm -hmm. sorry that fingers in the way all right and so I just I'll do that again uh, what did I have five was it ten I had five. One, two. What you'd already done five. Three, yeah. Four, five. I'm going to make my next petal. Yeah. Right, so then I loop back on under the catch. Come back through. Okay. You're doing ten now, yeah? And I've, no, I just do five, Jenny. Why did I, where did I get ten from? I don't know. Because I did, f I, d I only did three there, and that wasn't a very big petal. I don't know so where I, did, I got ten from. I did five, and then fastened it in. Five more, and fastened it in. So oh, now so I'm getting working in five. So I don't so know where I got ten from. You could do ten if you wanted, and you'd have an enormous loop. Yeah. Or you'd have a sort of a long, eager, elongated okay. loop. Shall I do that once more? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I need my. I've got my two rows there, so I need my link in one. Right, and uh -huh. I'm going to do one to keep the tension three four five okay then I'm going to take my needle through Jenny mm -hmm. sorry sorry <laughs> just a bit more and that's made my next petal five okay. not ten <laughs> five and I'm going to get my tension back again hold it still pull it through and then through both. That's a very, very, very simple stitch. And I'll pull that one out so it won't. Can you see? I can. That makes my makes my flower. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's that's much easier than I actually thought it was going to be. Now, while you're uh, getting ready for your next bit, no problem. I am going to uh, give everybody some gorgeous. Oh, they're lovely, they're aren't pretty, they? Aren't they're my they? I, I actually prefer I a post and butterfly yes, like back, like but I've I got do. more shepherd's hooks earrings. It's funny, isn't it? But I, they're my favourite. You get 100 pairs or to get. Do you know what I like about these ones? The ball on them's really small. Yes. It's dainty. Yes. And I actually really go for that. And I love this colour. It's a perfect it is pretty. steampunk. You get 100 pairs look in total. And you also get the butterfly backs with them. They've got a lovely little loop. Shall I show you the butterfly backs as well? Because they're not too big. I'll put one on. You know, sometimes you get butterfly backs and they're enormous. And you're thinking, I don't want that. That's going to show me behind my ear. I have got would show some me. like that that I bought from jewellers. Though. They're massive. And I'm like, oh, I, you can feel them. Yeah, and you you've think, got little tiny ears, but nothing would, nothing would be lost behind my ear. I mean, I, I mean ever, normal I've got ears. What's huge, wrong with huge elephant teeth. So you have not. Lucky bits I have. I don't think you have. No. Somebody told me that your ears and your nose never keep stop gro growing. That's why my ears have got big. They never used to. Well, I've got no chance of this nose, have I? No. <laughs> and it's funny because I look at my son's nose and it's exactly the same as mine, and I think, oh, I feel sorry for him. And then I look at my mum and think, yeesh. <laughs> yeah. As you do. <laughs> I do. I do thank her a lot. Thanks a lot, mum, for this nose. Uh, now, you've got 100 pairs of antique bronze earring posts and butterfly backs, 13 millimetres with a 3 millimetre ball, uh, and the backs are 5 by 3 millimetres. Lovely in this antique bronze, by the it way, is. and it's so lovely with the little drops of rose quartz. Now, they're 7 25 for 100 pairs. Gosh. What's that? That's 7 8 p a pair. 8 p a pair! Where would you where would you get any any for eight pence? You wouldn't even penny sweets aren't you penny. Can, no, like they're ten p. I'm like, hang on a minute, you've lost the concept of penny sweet. Absolutely, here. unbelievable. Seven pounds and twenty five pence. BDG P thirty nine is your item code. Eight pence or seven point two five pence well. per pair. So actually, it's more seven pence than eight. It is actually incredible deal. 
Let's go a bit higher now. I don't know why I've done that accent when we're going higher. So going, Let's go right frightfully higher now. No, I love oh, these. Uh, they are earring pointers, but let's not oh, let's no. not get stuck there because they're amazing independents, Frankie. You know, you said about the, these um, connectors that you've given me for my challenge. Yes. Um, I have used these, but in a rose gold colour that you did before. I've used those for exactly that thing, sort of to growing up. Yes, and I've got um, a, a pearl necklace that's got three rows of different shaped pearls, and it looks oh, lovely. fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. CNG P75 is your item code. These are 29 by 14 and they're gold, real luxurious, rich gold on so 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 they're really malleable. Fabulous. Yeah. And they're fabulous. They are fabulous. We've only got how many left? 27, oh. that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Look at They've the been real favourites. <gasps> 695. It's great value, isn't it? Just wear them as earrings as they are. You, you couldn't buy a pair of earrings for six ninety five. Not in stairs or in real Well, gold. no, I mean, you've got two pairs there. There you get four in total. And there's so much you can do with them. They're such a wonderfully versatile finding. Yes, we call them earring loops, but they're not just earrings. I mean, they'd be wonderful in just a pendant or maybe kind of like a Bollywood style. Lots of tassels. What about with those rubies that you just bought? Oh, oh. yes. Oh, yes. Oh, gosh, yes. Ruby earrings. Oh, remember, we don't have many of these, and already approaching half of the stock has gone. £6.95. Uh, we got a message for you. Hello, Ted. Frankie! <laughs> Thank you for the crochet demo. I've tried numerous times to get it with no success. I've just done a load oh, in good. no time. Thank you, thank Great. you, thank you. Oh, well, well done. Well done, Stuart. Also well known done. as Ted. <laughs> well done. Well done. Excellent. We got another one. Sam, Samantha. Hi, Jen. I much prefer cheese over chocolate. What's your top three cheeses? Oh. Love it. Now, that's hard. That because is there hard. is hard. It's cheese. It's hard. It's all cheese. Oh. I love Stilton. Stilton. I love it on steak. I love it on fries. Yeah. I love it on anything. I love Stilton. What's my favourite, though? I, I love them all. Three. I love halloumi, grilled. Yeah, oh yes. You were talking to Mark about oh, that I the other day. I love halloumi. And, yeah, oh, that's, it's got to be grilled though. Definitely grilled. What else do I love? My daughter introduced me to I do me love a bit of cheddar, but I don't go apricotty with my cheese. I do love cheddar, I do love the Edams, but I love a bit of goat's cheese as well. Oh, like, oh camembert. Camembert's yeah, my third. Yeah. Camembert. Baked in the oven with a French roll. Or barbecued. Yeah, I, lo I love wrap it up in foil. I love brie as well. Side. You know, when it sort of you leave it on the paper, you leave it out, and it just sort of goes mm. ooze, ooze, ooze. Brie and bacon. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say Stilton number one, number two halloumi, number three camembert with garlic in it, wrapped in foil in the oven with a fresh French stick. What about a bit of Cheshire though? Oh, you can't beat a bit of Cheshire. I, you see, you, I'm see, you can't. You see, I'm a real northern girl. You can't beat a bit. Good Cheshire. Double Gloucester, yeah. Whoa, no, I'll go for the Cheshire. All right. With, it's near Yorkshire. I go for a bit of Cheshire, beautiful Cheshire, white Cheshire, that is, really crumbly with Christmas cake. You know, yeah, a I've heard Christmas. about this. I'm Jenny, not sure. Jenny, I'm, I'm, I'm not know, sure. I'm a, I'm a cheesy person. I don't like, like crossing the sweet, savoury no, boundary. No, but Jenny, try I'll try it. it. I, listen, I'll try anything, it's, me. Honestly, I'll try it, it but I'm a, I like a stick of celery with a good strong bit of cheddar or yeah yeah I do too I'm not a sweet and sour or a, girl or a creamy cheese spread into it that's nice. maybe into the, into someone comes at me with a chicken chicken Chinese ball and sweet and sour sauce I'm gonna turn them away now I hope that answers your question. Was it Samantha? I could talk about cheese literally all night. I love it that much. I don't, think she, I don't, I don't think she perhaps wanted that quite What about that. a cheese shopping oh. channel? What about that? Should we do that? Who's up for it? Just selling cheese all day. Yeah. Can, can I, I have, have a job? Fat we'd be you give me a job? Yeah. Come on. Off we go. Right then. Me and you. Now, I've got all these lovely different earring finders. Do you think these ought to go on the overhead camera? Got to put... I think we can see the different variations then, can't we? I've messed up the display, I won't yeah. lie to you. But you dropped one on You get the me. idea. What are you doing down there, love? Feeling your legs. <laughs> Sue <laughs> says cheese! <laughs> I know, I love it. Perhaps she wants to cover her shop oh. as well. 
Who wants to stick some halloumi in it? Never enough, though. It's always a little piddly thing. I eat a lot. And like, then Mia's like, oh, where's I know. halloumi? What, what about, uh, what about um, bulls, uh, what's it uh, What's it called? Um, the Hot Italian. Tarella? Yeah, the yeah, Italian. Yeah, they're not very flavoursome. With a bit of basil, yes. Oh, yeah, with basil and tomato. Look at this. Now, you've got... It's not a cheese board, they say. <laughs> I wish it was with a salty cracker. Now, you have got the Uber Secure, which I, I really like these ones because if you've got something really high end you want to hold on to. Then you've got the hoops. We, oh, don't, we haven't had hoops, so I like these. These ones look amazing if you are working with something that you want to look elongated and very elegant. Yes, very elegant. And then you've got the classic shepherd's hook, but with a wider loop on it a wider bow part so these are what these are great because you know something you never know how a gemstone is going to hang until you put it on the finding so the great thing about this is you can try them out and you go oh it works so much better on this one or that one when you're doing a long row uh, then i would go for the square ones they look amazing you've got 24 pairs of earrings but they're not going to be 9.95 no 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 <laughs> real gold on copper last chance for six pounds and ninety-five pence, a <laughs> wonderful value, brilliant for your New Year makes. He's and you could fire. get making over Christmas time. You might he's have on fire, a... isn't he? Today he's on he's fire. He is. He's, he's definitely bored. giving us yeah. treats today. He's literally in flames now. Six ninety-five. Loads of you there for this one again. P L A Z twenty-four. Great deal. Again, a great deal. Frankie, we are uh, finishing up now with you. Anything else? Um, anything else you need to add to the? I was just going to show, show the, the curly bit, really. The curly whirly. Have you got time for the curly bit? Yeah, very not? quick curly bit. Right, so I wanted something, as I say, I didn't want to use the big ones as they were. So I didn't use my round nose pliers, I used my... Pliers. Pliers. You've been hanging around with me a bit I've been hanging around with you too long, my darling. <laughs> so I just simply twisted these round, and if I can do them... Oh, I can't believe you did that. I've never seen that. I think it looks ace. It's wonderful, isn't it? Just they're easy to manipulate then, are they? I thought they'd be all work hardened and no, sort of they're not. stubborn. No, they're not. They're really good. Okay. <laughs> right. That's it. I'll stop there. Because <laughs> Jenny's doing funny things next. I'm not. I really need to be. I know. I got Why it. Why don't give it away? I'm doing this. <laughs> you know, we're a kid and you're like, will you stop digging? Just go to the toilet. But I can't. There we are. It's dead simple. Manipulated. Okay. End of. Love you. Thanks. No, I don't want to <laughs> do the foot in a bin. <laughs> I've got oh, some God. dignity left. <laughs> so I'm not going to do it with you in the room either. Uh, now, we've got some freshwater pearls. Coming up for you after the break, have we? Is that what you just said? Yes? Uh, we, we've got lots of gorgeous things coming up for you after the break. Thanks to the gorgeous Frankie. We're going to see Frankie's challenge. I'm going to nip to the, to the loo. I'll see you in a minute. Run! Run! I'm going! No one did Christmas quite as lavishly as the Victorians. Gemma Crow invites you to her Christmas-themed workshop that will embrace the Victorian era. Join Gemma for a day of festive Victorian fun and create some beautiful and timeless jewellery to glam up your Christmas wardrobe. Feel free to dress for the occasion. Also included in this amazing workshop is a Christmas-style buffet and refreshments, use of all relevant tools, a tour of the studios, a visit to the Gemporia Museum and a chance to visit the jewellery maker's shop. Book your place now. For more information, contact the call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655.
Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Ho 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 ho! Merry Christmas jewelry makers! My name's Carol and I'd like to wish you all a very happy Christmas. Ho ho ho! If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. Hi, I'm Ed. I just wanted to thank all of the Jewelry Maker viewers for all of their support over the last year and of course to wish you a very Merry Christmas. The colour of rose quartz ranges from a very tender pale pink to a delicate powder pink and can be transparent through to translucent. This gem has adorned ornaments and jewellery since ancient times. Known as the gemstone of true love, it's said that rose quartz allows you to get to know your true self and to love that true self in all its beauty. with some absolutely outstanding strands. I've got the most beautiful big silver pearls. Frank is actually digging around for some pearls now. But look at these. Breathtaking. They're brilliant, aren't they? Wow. Can you see the funk concave? Concave faceting, I was going to say, but I meant concave faceting. Look. Wow. Now, I've never, ever, ever, ever seen these. I think they're glorious. The sun is beaming from these. <sighs> Absolutely natural. 100% natural citrine. The gemstone of happiness. I just, this is the best strand of citrine in the world here at Jewelry Maker. I've just decided. Looked at these and went, that's the best of it. And I'm a big fan of citrine. I love it. I love my sentiments, don't I? You know that. So this one's for me. I love the gemstone of happiness. Oh, look at it. I love them. Imagine this with peridot. Oh, I just think they're gorgeous. Aren't they lovely? I'd prong set these into a ring, you know. We've got Michelle's DVD coming out soon. I would prong set them. I'd put them in earrings, you know. Always, always high-end findings. Silver or gold would go. They're be these are beautiful. If you don't get these, I'm, I'm sure you'll regret it. Look. Look at that concave fasting. Look, look, look. And you know what? You've got big tables. You've got that amazing coulé there. Oh, they're gorgeous. The colour of the beaming sun peeking through your curtains on a spring day, spring full of hope, isn't it? AZZ C16. Now these are 34.95. I would pay that for one. If you're shopping ever in the jewellery quarter and buying gemstones from elsewhere, I think we've only got 12 of these left. Please be quick. Uh, they're absolutely incredible. The colour is striking, and I'm going to put it out there and say that these are the best citrine we've ever had. Oh my gosh, how amazing are these going to go with those rubies? Oh, oh, oh yes. 
at 34.95. Uh, make sure you are checking out baskets. I'm just waiting for your names. 55 carats in total, 12 by 8 to 16 by 10. So they've got a lovely graduation. I'm so glad these are going all over the world. Pennsylvania, Carmarthenshire, Kent. All different places, Dublin, well done. You've got these AZZ C16. Uh, now, I have got several unchecked baskets. You're going to have to check your baskets out if you want these. They're just beautiful. Look, at, I would get these valued again, and these will go very nicely with some golden pearls. They're striking, quite striking. They're very remarkable. £34.95. We haven't got anything like these. That's the best quality citrine I've seen here at Jewelry Maker. And I, I've, I've got quite a lot of our citrine strands. It's beautiful. Gems of distinction. Oh, you know what? It'll come beautifully packaged as well. I love those boxes, do you? Oh, I love them. I love them. I can see Alice and Terry being a bit mad for these. But if you are going to buy Michelle's DVD that's coming out, when's the DVD? It might be tomorrow, actually. Can you find out? Or next week, soon. And... Um, it will be coming out soon, and she prong sets. Perfect. Uh, £34.95. Now, I'm going to give you... Oh, my God. <gasps> Is it Zambian emerald? Oh, my good... Are you serious? I've never seen emerald this great. I remember Carol had that one amazing strand a couple of weeks ago, and I was quite jealous. But I let Carol off because it's her favourite gemstone in the world. Her engagement ring is just breathtaking. It's the best engagement, and I love it. No. Are you serial? I am so glad I finally got it. I, do you know why they wouldn't let me do this? Because they said I would steal them. Oh, I love them. I am going to steal them. Look, they're totally natural. Look at the clarity. Come off it. This is... You've got to get these. You've got to get them valued. I have never seen such outstanding quality. When do you... When do, I know I said it in the citrine as well, but you know what? When did you last see emerald here with clarity? When did we do the Siberian emerald? Ages ago, years. Look, look at this. It's amazing. That's the most. I mean, Frankie, come on. It's the most beautiful colour, isn't it? You know that is. I know it sounds silly, but that is emerald green to me. Emerald city green, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's. You know, when you think of when I think of emeralds, I, you know, because I'm still a you know one of the the um, customers really when I think of sapphire I think of blue I know we get other lo lots of other color sapphires but I always think of blue yeah and I think most people do until they've been introduced to the other colors and when I think of, of, of um, emerald I think of that green because of the Wizard of Oz this is one of the most outstanding strands of emeralds we've ever had in this building <gasps> are you I thought it'd be way more than that gosh yes I thought this was going to be about sixty pounds. It's beautiful. Twenty-seven pounds and ninety-five pence. You've got. What are you doing, you fool? Oh, it's going lower. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness! Not by a bit either. Are you literally trying to drive me into the nut house? That's what he's doing. You reckon? Uh, what are you doing? Why is this not sixty pounds? It is a P45 price. Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> dear, oh dear, I give up. I could, I mean, it's not often I haven't got any words. <laughs> no, Even talking in my sleep. Or me. But that's just... What did we say? Fabulous, splendid. Lashings of colour. Lashings, yeah. Um, I can't even talk. All I those can't talk. all those words we said before times three. I can't even speak to you, Philip. I, just feel, I feel like you've cheated on me. That's how I look. Are you serious? Like why are you? Brilliant for you, Jordan, because I love you, oh, I stand absolutely. by you, I yeah. can campaign for you. But 
What are you doing, Phil, my love? What are you doing, love? Imagine if you bought the ruby earlier and you're getting it and you made a piece and you got it valued. Rodders, one day we will be millionaires. That's all I'm saying to you. They are beautiful. Mary, Evelyn, Monica, Deborah, Fiona, uh, jewelry maker in Herefordshire, Carol, Christine, Cheryl, Nikki, Tanya, another Cheryl in Cheshire. Unless there's two, wait there, Cheryl, blah, 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 blah. And one in Glamorgan, that's it, I was just making sure. Uh, Mary, Margaret, they've gone, they've sold out. I'm Are you not serious? at all surprised. At And we, what we didn't actually say was how sparkly they are. So sparkly. I just want them. I want to go and get them valued and then I'll be like, yeah! I reckon they value those very, very highly. They are beautiful. <sighs> Definitely. Really round, really big silver cultured pearls. Natural pearls. Big, 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 big. Definitely up my street. I want to wear the... I uh, know I've got my dress on back to front. <laughs> Can you tell really badly that? No, I would never have known if you hadn't said. You shouldn't have said, and then nobody would have known. Got my dress on backwards. Scooping neckline is down me back. But look, I mean, how Audrey Hepburn is this? And they are, I've just looked to see if they were shell and they're not. They're real pearls. Look how round they are. Do you find it's funny, isn't it? Because you'll go to a jeweler's and you'll see pearls at one price tag down one end of the street and down the other and you know like I said if you go into Cambridge I love shopping in Cambridge and it's not too far it's about 20 minutes on the train from my house so in Cambridge there's a square uh, and there's a market in the middle of it if you've been if do you know where I mean on the on the one side there is the most amazing jewelers it does really flash watches you know the ones beginning with R and if you walk in there there is a, a beautiful pearl necklace, but it's quite plain. They're very round, it's just got little parts. 2,000 pounds. They're not South Sea pearls, nothing. Look at this. How many have I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4. 44! 22 pairs of earrings. 45 pier pearl, 1995. You have to get, look how round these are. They're so high end, and then you'll go to another jeweler's down the road. You'll see a pearl necklace for about four hundred pounds. So the price will vary from around four hundred to two thousand. Uh, you, you know, it can be up, up and down. Pearls are so highly regarded in the jewelry world. These are genuine freshwater, roundest, biggest pearls we've got here, between ten and nine uh, millimeters. They are outstandingly beautiful. I'm not seeing any rings here. I mean, if you get them under a microscope, you might, but I can't see any from the naked eye mind-blowingly gorgeous at 1995 very high do you know what I would do I'd put the emeralds in between <laughs> now can I tell you something you know Jan you know Jan yes, yes. she has got our roundest pearls puts them in bracelets and she sells them directly to a jewelers near her the jeweler sells them for almost for over 200 pounds between two and three hundred pounds she's puts little emeralds in between them and they get valued massively now Jan says that the profit margin is crazy and at the moment she's doing that and she's making a blinking good living off it thank you very much it's worth going to your local jewelers getting your pieces valued because they might buy them from you to sell for their customers 1995 UVM C27 is your item well done Cheryl well done Isabel well done Rose jewelry maker in London Monica you've got yours Nikki and Devon's got two if you did get the emeralds these are going to pair up beautifully and I would absolutely make something that I'm going to get valued again very 1920s I hope you're watching me now whilst eating some very lovely cheese do you know what's really nice the Stilton that comes in a pot mm. You know, what are they called? That's called something though, isn't it? Comes in a big pot. So good. So good. Yeah, it's called delicious. Yeah, it's called delicious. Yeah. It is. <laughs> £19.95. pence. Oh, gorgeous. Cathy, Greater London. Roquefort. Yes. And uh, can you put it over there? Can't see all the way over there. Glenys, my darling. A mental and which? A mental, yeah. And 
Cambazola. What's that? I've never had that. I've not had Cambazola. I haven't had it. Oh, this is an outrage. There's a cheese I haven't got. Emmental is a. Is it one I've of those that. with the yeah. holes and stuff? Yeah, yeah, I've in, had that. Yeah. I haven't had the last one. I don't what know is it? That one. Cambazola. I haven't had that. Is it like Gorgonzola? I've not had that one either. Well, I need it. Sounds Imagine, ima this is the best Christmas present ever. A handful of cheese and a oh. bottle of port. I'm going to get everyone that this year. That would be nice. That's the best it? Christmas present in the world, isn't it? Do you know, there's a, you know a hamper maker beginning with F and M? You know. You must know. They do hampers. F for Freddie and M. What <laughs> Mason. <coughs> yeah? <laughs> Dave started selling Scottish tea, right? Apparently, we're going to have this big tea thing. £200 a box for the tea. But it's supposed to be the most... It's supposed to be a little bit like whiskey tones or something, or brandy tones. It's supposed to be the best tea you've ever tasted, Scottish tea. Now I'm going to give you some cashew pearls. I, I told you I want to open my own tea house. That's what I'm going to do. That's my pipe dream. I'm going to open tea houses. Tea and, and cheese. Yeah, maybe. But my thing is, we've got all these coffee stores everywhere. Oh, we're yes, a nation Sandy, of blinking tea you. drinkers. Why aren't yeah. we got that many tea stores? There's so True. many different teas. Maybe there's not a market for it. In the Cotswolds. Yeah, but they're little. They're, that's to get a cream tea. I'm not talking about that. I'm the. I'm the person who I want to go in there and I get a cup of tea. Blah, 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 in and out. Well, you're you know? shopping like you do in these yeah. other coffee shops. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. With, I agree with you. Let's have a look, because I don't actually like coffee anymore. I've gone no. against it, apart from camp coffee. Uh, now, <laughs> that's my favourite. Grey cashew pearls adding loads of texture. It's not camp in its mannerisms. It's that people used to take it out when they were camping. It's with, you put it with cold milk, it's iced coffee, it's amazing. Uh, XQD P62. Now, these are only 6 95 so if you're looking for that silver effect, if you want them in tiaras and fascinators, these are your pearls, because they're going to give you that texture. Cashew pearls do that. They're lovely for adding that lovely sort of leafy texture, but giving you pulescence at the same time. Uh, and, and aren't they a lovely colour? We're saying grey there, but these are not grey, they're silver. I love grey. I love grey, but these are silver. They're, so, they're too shiny to be grey, aren't they? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that together. That's very frosty morning, isn't Ooh, it? Oh, nice. On a cold and frosty Ooh. morning. We haven't seen that one for ages. That's the grapes, isn't it? Yeah, and the peeled it... grapes of gorgeousness. Yeah, I love those. The free and what it's called. What's free it called? Oh, yeah, Gorgeous, that's it. isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Now, do you, with your cheese, do you like grapes? I, I do. I... I will have a grape, but more of a celery girl. Right. So my cheddar, my Cheshire, and the fruit cake is is similar to the. I'm gonna try it. The... I promise you. You need but a I'm good. I'm skeptical. You need a good quality fruit cake. It has to be a. Well, dark it'll be fruit the one cake. that my mum's made. So you she know. do good ones. Oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. From the countryside, we do everything. You know, it's all proper. Now, have a look. What a colour! What a colour! <laughs> And there he is, my Greek god, in his loincloth, peeling me grapes, whilst fanning me with a large... What's it called? What are the leaves that they fan with? Palm leaf. That's, uh, that's my little fantasy, and I'm sticking with it. The colour is incredible. A bit of a Pinot Grigio green, that, isn't it? Very crisp. Yep. These are sensational. Did you know what? These are going to look very nice with rose quartz drops. Very pretty indeed. Stop it, Philip. Stop it. You're a you little rat bag. I did call you a rat bag, yeah. A bag of rats, that's what you are. A rat bag. Oh, and he's doing it again. But, oh. No, I'm not even kidding you. This is ridiculous. Oh, because they're so, so green, aren't they? I mean, that you know, sometimes it can be a 
bit paler than that, but they're, they're just so lovely. It's the cut of them as well. Yeah. It's the fact they're gems of distinction too. They're blooming 6 95 What it's do you say to think about? You can make flowers with these, you can drop these in earrings. They're outstandingly gorgeous. WZR U02, 90 carats of prionite, 10 by 5 to 18 by 10 millimeters on a 20 centimeter strand. 6 95 increíble. I know what it is. It's, it's button stuck on six ninety five. That's what it is. His buttons got stuck on six ninety five. Some it's stuck, I tell you. <laughs> six ninety five. You crazy man. He is. He is a crazy one, isn't he? Sylvia, you've got these. Christine and Carla, uh, Patricia, Brenda, Kath, Karen, Catherine, Dorothy, uh, Kathy, Julia. Uh, jewelry maker in London Town, two for you. Gloria, uh, Cheryl again, multi buying. Caron, Jane, Carol, you've got yours. Charlene, you've got yours. I've never heard of that name, Charlene. WZR U02, I don't know. Isn't this a crazy deal? What are you having for your tea tonight? What are you having? Do you say dinner or tea? Because we always say breakfast, lunch, dinner, not tea. No, I have dinner too. You have dinner too? Yeah. You have, you have breakfast, tea, dinner? Do you? Yeah, yeah, he does. No lunch. No, it's a thing of the past lunch, isn't it? They don't have it. I, I mean, I do. It's lunchtime, isn't it? Funny, isn't it? What are you having for your dinner tonight, then, Tom? Um, I'm going to this ball, aren't I? So it's uh, three. Oh, are you? Oh, oh, with who? You. With a camera. Are you going oh, with Claire? Right. You're working. Um, well, are you going, going in there solo? Solo, yeah. Oh. Do you need a date? You need, I could come. Is a... You can come if you want. If you uh, want I can hold, your ca can hold your cables. Yeah, Are you going to go? <laughs> it's camera cables. Jenny, grow up. Dear, oh dear. Jenny. Genevra, grow up. That's <laughs> the way you said it. I'll hold your cables. I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. you're, yeah. you're putting innuendo where there was none. <laughs> Are you trying to get me into trouble? I am not. I never would. I, mean, I, I could get myself into it. <laughs> with it. Oh, Tom. Behave. Never has he had such an offer. Sorry, no. Tom. I, did, I meant, you know, you. Oh, stop digging, Gaywood. <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> 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 No, you know. What are you eating people. then? Is it a. Uh, do you know what's on the menu? I've no idea. Food, uh, probably. I it's roast, isn't it? Because it's Christmas balls. So I think it'll be a roast. I hope so. Oh, I do like a roast. I don't, I'm not. Um, I'm going to go to my mum's via my friend Jade's tonight. So I don't know what I'm going to eat. Now, have a look at this. Because my mum's gone somewhere funny where there's like stuff going on near Stroud. What's it called? Begins with W. She said, I'm going to West Burton or something. And I was like, what's that? Western Burt. Oh, I've heard of Western Where's Burt. Western Burt? I don't know where it is, but I've heard of it. Now, so if you see a mad woman with, a, with my gorgeous uh, nephew, it's my mum. Now, have a look at these. I, do you know what? Again, I love these. I lo they're massive, these aquamarines. And another one you must get valued. These are incredible. They're outstanding. Look at the size of them. And you know what? Look at the clarity. Aquamarine in these facets. Now, I just want to put that big one in a ring, don't you? I think these are lush. March's birth gemstone. And, and a gemstone that they call the St. Christopher of gemstones said to uh, give you luck in travel. I love them. Gemstone of lovers, to reignite the flames of love. They're, they're a lovely colour, aren't they? They're such a soothing colour. Yeah. They are like Paraba colours, Glenn. Oh, I tell you, Summer Glenn. At 26.95. How much would you pay for one of these? You know he's not staying there because he is a rat bag today with those price tags. They've got amazing clarity to them. If you're looking for the best strand of aquamarine and you want the drops, then here it is.
1995. Get them valued. Let me count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 on your strand. I think there's so many ways in which you can incorporate these into your jewellery. I just, and I think you're going to love them. I don't think I would fancy buy them with too much. I don't want to overdo this with much wire. I would prong set them. I would showcase these. They are prestigious. Yeah. Aren't they? They are divas. They're gorgeous. The thing is, they're long enough. Um, literally in length that you can that you could do a lovely briolette sort of wrap at the top and not lose much but you could yes in one of those in between one Oops. and a drop on Absolute, a pendant absolutely. beautiful yeah do you know what I mean with that nice briolette um, silver wire that'd be lovely wouldn't it I think silver wire too yeah I don't want to overdo it I don't no. want anything else to take the attention no. these are very pretty gorgeous they're so soft 19 pounds and 95 pence. Evelyn, you've got yours. Jewelry maker in Worcestershire in London. Tanya, Karen. Jewelry maker in Mick Morgan. Jane, Jill, Cheryl. Cheryl's at it again. Uh, Kathleen. Susan in Oxfordshire, you've got yours. Isabel in Angus, you've got yours. Great to see you all on board here today. I, I love it. Send us a text message. What are you having for your dinner? Carol, what are you having for your dinner? Fish and chips, it's not Friday, Carol. Saturday? Fish and chips Saturday? That's my Thursday meal. Thursday? Yeah. Fish and chip Friday. No, Thursday. All right, okay. What about you, Phil? What are you having? What are you having? You going to the pub with ingredients? A pickled onion, perhaps? Oh, was he doing one of these pub things? Probably. What are you oh. not going out tonight, Philip? He might do. He's a man of free will. He'll do what he wants. Well, absolutely. Sounds like a great pub where you can take your own yeah, food and does. share it, doesn't it? Yeah. That sounds really good. I like that. What are you doing, Philip? You don't know. He had fajita Thursday, though, oh, at the pub. Nice. What, what are you going to have, Glenn? What are you having for your din-dins? Whatever shopping... <laughs> oh, Glenn. Oh. Pop noodle, saying. Oh, gosh. That's, That's my daughter is obsessed with those, her and Chloe. We've had to put a stop to it. It's ridiculous. They're not good for you. Very nutritious. They're not, there's nothing to it. There's no fat in them, is there? But there's nothing else in them either. You may as well eat cardboard. Although it's not as tasty, is it? Not, not the pot noodle. Pot. I do the like them. The beef and tomato it? are my favourites. They're lush. Know, I've never had one. Oh, they are lush. Are they? But yeah, afterwards you're like, mm. do you know what? I do like a super noodle in a chicken though. Chicken super noodles. Super noodle sandwich? That's carbicide. No, <laughs> do you know what is good though? Super noodles on toast with cheese grilled. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Sounds fabulous. That's one less carb. <laughs> You're putting a carb hat on that, Glenn. Unnecessary. <laughs> but it does save you the washing up of the knife and fork. No. Some people have lasagna and chips, but I can't fathom that out. That's like having pasta and chips. It doesn't work. Do you have chips with lasagna? Uh, no, only in a restaurant. I mean, you usually serve it in a restaurant, don't they, or in a pub. So I think salad is fine. But I uh, prefer a salad with mine. Chips and lasagna, it doesn't work for me. Well, no, because you've got two lots of... Double carbs, carbicide. Yeah. I've never heard of that before. It's good, good word, that, carbicide. Yeah, carbicide, that. Have a look. <laughs> Are we making you hungry at home? Isn't it bad? It's like when you watch the Bake Off and you're starving even though you've eaten. Or you read a book and they're cooking something and you're like, right, I'm going to have to eat. <laughs> Look at this. I haven't seen Man vs. Food. What do they do on that? Look at this. Look at it. I absolutely adore Black Spinel. I think you'd be hard pushed to, by eye, I think you'd be very hard pushed to tell a black spinel from a black diamond. I can't tell the difference and I've got black diamonds at home. I think these are gorgeous. Clustered together, they're very glamorous, aren't they? But these do look wonderful individually. Cersei in Cheshire, how's tuna chunks? She's saying, amazing, wow, black spinel drops. Mm, they're gorgeous, Cersei. They're so blinktastic. Well, are you going to bunch them up? Uh, do you know what I think would look lovely? A massive clustering. 
great big cluster. You want to see these. You want to give them some movement and some earrings to match. Gorgeous. Look at that sparkalicious. $17.95. Spinels may be found in areas where rubies and sapphire are found. And it's funny because it is often mistaken for precious gemstones as well. £17.95. I did that like a weather girl. That's brilliant. I'm not talentless after all. <laughs> Front coming in from ruby and sapphire. I would do that, except I'm really geographically not good. I know what North, South, East and West are, but I've got no idea where anywhere is, apart from the places where I live. And even then I struggle. I still don't know really on the map where Hertfordshire is. 1795. <laughs> I know where John O'Groats and Land's End on the map is. That's about it. <laughs> OK, fair enough. I can't. I'm rubbish. It wouldn't work out for me, would it? 1795, WNWS, Y7445 carats. Oh, gorgeous, Blacks for now. Sue, Cathy, you've got yours. Lizby, Lizby, how do I say your name? Uh, Lynette, you've got yours. Oh, hang on. Foisade, you've got yours. What a lovely name. Gorgeous. Cersei in uh, Cheshire. I have this strand, Jen, and I still want more. I just gaze at them. They're so sparkly. Tuna Chunks is chain mailing away while watching. Good on him, I say. You got him trained, that one. You got, that's her husband. We call him Tuna Chunks. Uh, we've, he's he's uh, chain mailing away, gold loving. 70. It's nice to have a hobby together, isn't it? Some people have hobbies to get away from their other halves. Not Cersei and Tuna Chunks. They're united in their hobbies. 0800 6, 444 Well done to everybody that's got these. And Cersei is highly recommending them from Cheshire. Now, I'm going to give to you... Oh! Oh, these garnets are so sparkly. Hang on, you know what I need, don't you? Oh, look, he's left it out. Fair play to him. It's Tom's torch. Leave it on to annoy him, that's not nice. Can you see? Oh, it's, we need an incandescent light, not an LED light. These are lush. They're a really deep, 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 intense, intense, intense red, aren't they? Really. Do you know, I'd have to separate these, actually, because I think you need to give them some light. And I think I'd, I'm tempted to put a gold spacer in between them, actually. These would look very nice indeed. Oh, that depth of red. That depth of red is super deep, isn't it? Like a sherry, like a deep red sherry. Garnet, January's birth gemstone, India's heartbeat. What about with an emerald in between? I love garnet. Garnet's beautiful, isn't it? Seven pounds and 95 pence. LYP 07 is your item code. Brilliant price tag, amazing sparkle. Isn't it gorgeous? Look, see, they look black there, but they're not. They do, they're not Can you see it? They? Can you see the depth of red is incredible? Yeah, they're such dark red. Do you know what they remind me of? Rouge Noir. You ever had that? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, um, no, actually, it's a nail varnish by a very high end, by a very high end, um, Kind of makeup, clothes, perfume, cocoa. Mm -mm. Oh right, Rouge Noir. It's their best seller. It's the biggest selling nail varnish colour. You never heard of it? No. Is I it, can't believe you it, haven't got is it, it. Is it black? No, it's deep red like this. Oh right, sorry. Rouge yeah. Noir. You've uh, got to have it. It's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Best colour that. We're not allowed to wear it, unfortunately. No, quite. But I would if I could. Seven ninety five. Like a nice port. This. Mm. Like yeah. a nice port. Do you like a bit of port? Drop a port? Oh, yeah. Now, port with cheese, you see. No. Oh, now you're there dancing. You're, you're playing now, with Philip gas has there, port and cheese nights. Do you know that? Does he? Yeah, he's a, he's a young know, he's lad a... trapped inside an old mind. He's amazing, that boy, isn't he? He's amazing. Love him to bits. He can, he can entertain me anytime with port yeah, and cheese. Yeah, I know. Cheese. He's the perfect male, isn't he's he? He's lovely. 
seven pounds 95 pence l yp 07 incredible value pamela you've got two alison uh, how am i saying the name is it folasad or is that an i is it foisad folasad fol is it an l la 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 folasad please let me know if that's wrong how i'm saying your name folasade maybe um Lou, Angela, Jacqueline is well. Lozy there, Jilly's there as well. Hello, Della Tink. Hi, Jenny. I've just received a cheese garlic pita salad oh, with that's chips. Not Why isn't You're she making invited me us? Oh. oh, come on. Why isn't she invited us? We could just eat that now, Tink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you ever think, right, I'm hungry, I'm going to do myself a grazing board and I sit and I put it on my tray and it's just, you know those crackers with the salt on them? Oh, them. yeah. The wheaty ones. Yeah. So I have, it's like a trough, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, with loads of cheese. Oh, I oh, love the idea. Yeah. Oh, a bit of with salad. You. Mm. With you all the way. Chips. Oh. Do what, I, what was the thing I told you? Yeah, mushrooms on toast. So make the mushrooms, toast, put the stilton on top, put it under the grill. Oh, baby. I bet that's quick as well, isn't it's it? It's quick, it's delicious, and it tastes good with wine. Red, of course. No, it's, it's, not, it's not toast. Just think of it as a fancy snack, OK? Just don't see past the fact you've got toast at the bottom. Yes, it's, a to it's like a canapé, a matted canapé. <laughs> Massive canapé, yes! Beautiful. A matted canapé. I thought, well. what's he on about? <laughs> you can put the mushrooms on top of a bruschetta if you prefer. It's just easier with toast, isn't it? <laughs> in it. No. It is, in it. What do you mean, what's a bruschetta? You don't know what a bruschetta is? <sighs> you need to come round my house. You need to come round my house and let me feed you up. I'm going to feed you up good. Now. Look at these. Aren't they wonderful? Totally natural. Oh, I haven't seen fluorite for a while. It's lovely this, yeah, isn't it? it's pretty. You wait, you wait, because I've got an amazing fluorite. It's time to give you as well. Look. Wow! <laughs> fluorite hearts as well, I love. And, and you know what, they glow. Can we, do you reckon if this is a, is this a UV light, did you say? Uh, will that make it glow? Don't when you see this glow. Don't it at the camera, Jen. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you need to get these behind a UV light. The, the effect it has is... Sometimes they'll do it out of their own accord, you know. Just be like, way! And you'll be like, ah! Casually glowing away. The stripes on this are wonderful. The colours are wonderful. Very subtle, very soft. This one of Mark Smith's favourites. Are you, are you a big fan of fluorite? I like fluorite too, yeah, it's really nice. What is it about fluorite that you love? I think it's its subtlety. The colours are, are, if this makes sense, they're bright, but they're subtle. They're mm. not in your face. They're, the green is green and the yellow is yellow, but they're, 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 they're muted, aren't they? Yeah. They're not overpowering. Yeah, ex yes, exactly. I think that's what I mean. Well said, Jen. But they look... They, they, you know, they're so cool, actually. The, the, the greens are a very cool green, like a glacier. OAG, P32, hey, no, these are going to be such great sellers as well because they're sentimental. One of these on a pendant, lovely eye loop, silver ball head pin, beautiful. Eight pounds, 95 pence, OAG, P32. Under 10 pounds for these, 0800 644 Now we're going to do Amaze balls. Have a look at this colour. Oh, I love this. Oh, this cool. one here is my favourite. Look at that. Oh, do you know what that reminds me of? London blue topaz. <gasps> Aren't it lovely? They're all different colours. Isn't this gorgeous? If you're a fluorite fan, you have to have this strand. Again, I'm going to say this is, and I've just done fluorite, I'm going to say this is the best strand of fluorite we've got. Look at the cut, elongated facets drawing your eye down to these 
like wonderful, expensive 1920s Tiffany lamp charms. Oh, yes. That's what they remind they me are. of. Oh, these are lush. Look at them glow. Look at the glow from the purple. Under, and that's the same strand I've got here, by the way. It just glows, it just works. I can pick that one out and it doesn't look purple now I've got it. It looks kind of like a different, see? But that's that one that you just saw because it was glowing under the light. Isn't it made, this is the same strand. I incredible, incredible strand. All yours. For under 15 pounds at 14.95 we've got the best this is just the best creme de la creme and by the way to have it in big pieces like this is a rarity we got another message coming through i love these uh i think we should have like a bat phone uh, and it says josephine says hi what a wonderful show that's it put it over there that's much better thank you what a wonderful show with the frankie fantastic frankie brilliant designs as usual always something different always love jenny presenting great thanks oh, josephine thanks, i'll josephine. tell you later Oh, bless her. I wonder where she is in the West Midlands. Can't be that far away. Oh, she's down, might be down mm. road from us. Might be down road. Down road. Darren, Jenny, bacon super noodle. Yes, hearing it mixed with tomato. Tomato soup. It was brilliant up until the tomato soup statement. <laughs> I was, I'm not sure about that. Although it's like tomato noodle soup, I suppose. Other noodles are available, such as pot noodles and um, uh, noodle... What are those ones? Dragon King noodles. That's three noodle brands. Uh, 14 pounds and 95 pence. Oh, I'm in the mood for a super noodle now. Uh, MJRU37 is your item code. Incredible colour, incredible strand. Beautiful it is. Absolutely beautiful. Bling, bling, bling. Bling, 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 bling. It's so unusual, that cut, isn't it? It's such a squares. It is, and they're long. The yeah. are long. Beautiful. I love that about them. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now, my dear hearts and darlings, I'm going to bring to you... What about the Dalmatian? I knew you were going to say that. That's why I took it out of your brain and put it into mine. God only knows where I'd be without you. What happened to that? Because there's celebrities did it and then it never sort of released, did it? Or did it go to number one? It was the Beach Boys. It was, but then they redid it with like, you know how they've done Feed the World? They've oh, done really? it with that song as well. Yeah. I liked it. Have a look. I only know it by the Beach Boys. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely song, isn't it? Yeah, it is. God only it's my, knows where I'd my be era. You. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Look at these. I love this for me is the best way of wearing animal print. My favourite. Do you know what oh, I would do? They're so sweet, aren't they? I love them. I take these three and I put them on black leather cord, not either side. That's my bracelet. Love yeah, them. Love but them. I also think they make really because they're graduated for you, it just works, jewellery makers, doesn't it? Make my life easier. <laughs> look how cute that is. Oh, look at the price. Dalmatian. I love any kind of Jasper, but Dalmatian Jasper, I think, does it. You know, like I was saying earlier, I'm a Jasper girl. I think you either uh, Jasper or Agate. Uh, you know, if I've got to pick either, and I give you loads of Agate, I love it. But Jasper every time. Yes, oh, I love the I fact agree. that you've got tiny ones of these. Yeah. I love the variation of Jasper. This is cl a classy way to wear animal print, I think. What do you think? I agree. I totally agree. It, and it's. It's cute, isn't it? I mean, it, it's cute like that, but if you then put a couple of... If you put it with some pearls, if you put it with some lovely creamy coloured pearls, so it does have those vintage colours through it, doesn't it? Yeah. I, I don't know what that is through it. Do you know what it is, Jan? Well, sure the little dots? Yeah, the, the, not the dots, no, the other sort of yellowy sort of tones I that you don't get. Know. I was, do you know what, I was just thinking lovely, I must ask Hannah Roxbury, now snowflake It's sort of a mustardy colour, isn't it? Though? Yeah, I'd like to know, actually, so if you I got, am a big fan of this. If you've got sort of vintagey pearls or something, you know, they'd be really lovely with that, I think, wouldn't they? I, I love this. I love this. 
Look at the patterns, they're ace, aren't they? Oh, I think you should definitely get this. It's a great price tag too. OB, OBP, 070. I knew you said OB1 Kenobi for no reason. OBP, uh, six pounds and 95 pence. Who is so excited about the new Star Wars? I think we should all go together. Glenn. <laughs> Glenn doesn't like Star Wars. Get out, Glenn. You've disappointed me for the last time. No. He'll be telling me next he'd never played with Lego. Other bricks are available. <laughs> Stickle bricks. Stickle bricks, I love them. Oh, and yeah. Duplo. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know what? We've got to do those obsidians before we go, all right? Oh, we're not going yet, are we? Oh, I haven't finished my necklace. What's the most overrated film ever? Shut up, Glenn. I'm going to get angry. What are you talking about? It's the best made film ever. Ever. Think about the time. I know every word to Think about Jabba the Hutt. Talk to me about overrated. I didn't like him. But it was brilliant. Nobody liked him. He was a horrible thing, but he's a brilliant character. I only found out the other day when I was watching um, that lovely sort of professor guy talking to Brian, Brian Blessed that he was actually Jabba the, In Jabba the, the, yes, Hutt. Jabba the Hutt. I didn't know that. They're arguing that in there. Are they? I love Brian Blessed. Oh, yeah, he's brilliant. I always wanted to be um, Princess Leia when she was chained to Jabba the Hutt. I thought she looked great then. Is that weird? Yes, a little bit. Yeah. Um, bit. Look at this. <laughs> you said that before. It is weird. <laughs> I am weird. I fancied... Um... I know. Edward Scissorhands. No, not just that. Oh, I sorry. actually had a bit of a weird thing, and this is wrong, by the way, before it even comes out of my mouth, <laughs> with Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> I was really little. I think I wanted to just cuddle him because he was a be big bear. Yes, Jenny. I, um, yeah, I did have a, a thing about him. Oh, dear God. A bit of a thing, but not as much as Harrison Ford or Stormtroopers. Now, anyway... I love this woman. <laughs> I did, I love Chewy. I like wanted to marry him. When, you know when you were like, I love that man, I want to marry him when you're six? That was me. Yeah, I wanted right. to marry Chewbacca. Okay. Think of the, think of the children. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have a little shih tzus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going there either. <laughs> 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 oh god, I've killed Frankie! Frankie down! She needs the Heimlich or whatever it's called. Oh dear. <coughs> You're right there, love. Yes, thank you, Jimmy. <coughs> oh. Iolite! Oh, gorgeous Iolite is what I've got for you. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence, a gorgeous <laughs> gemstone of the Vikings is what I'm giving to you. HSR U28, 65 carats of beautiful Iolite, and these are in wheels. She's going to bunch up really nicely. You can make like a sweetie style bracelet with these. Put some jump rings in there. Get some charms on, on the go. Fantastic. 795-0800-644-655 is the number to be calling. Now, I've got to give you these before we go because these are amazing. Right, you've got to get close to these, Tom Tom. Look, look, are you ready? Watch this. Now, if I always, you know, the only, the best way of describing these is black moonstone because you get the most incredible shiller. That's what it's like. Look, here's a good one. Here's a good one here, look. See what I mean? Look at that. Incre it's one of my favorites. It is one of my favorites. Look, at, and it's, again, it's so mystical. I love anything that reminds me of like the deep, dark fantasy world. A bit, you know, Lord of the Rings, unicorns, leprechauns, things like that. And that's what this reminds me of, fantasy strand. Except this is real. I'm not saying leprechauns aren't real. Of course, I wouldn't ever make that statement. Well, how do you know they're definitely not real? You've never seen one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't crush dreams, either of you. Ali Defoy, I thought better of you. Now, what did I steal? Your starter, yeah, I did do that. She's not talking to me still over that starter. Oh, the starter upside, oh yeah. dear. She gets a right, oh, 
You've never, you think she's innocent. You've never seen her have a tantrum. I tell you, it's like Rumpelstiltskin. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's going mental. <laughs> if only I could understand you when you get really angry and squat it. Have a look. <laughs> oh dear. We're through, she just said. I'm sorry, I'm just joking. Have a look. Six pounds, 95 pence. Massive 16 mil rounds as well. I would definitely wire wrap these. Look at the shiller, look. If you did love that star dioxide, and we won't try and draw on that too much because Ali does get, you know, all rumpled stilt skin. They don't call her Defoy stilt skin for nothing. Look at that. Look. Wow! Six pounds, 95 pence. You've got to have these. Now, Ali is not really like that. She's a lovely girl. Is she gone? Oh, no, good. <laughs> <laughs> She's lovely. She's lovely. Now, my dear hearts, let's squeeze one, one another one in for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bum ba bum. Woo! Talking of unicorns. Now tell me they're not real. Look at this. Shut up, Danny. You've got to ruin everything. Aren't they amazing? They are real, Danny. Look at this, look. Ready? Did you, oh, I love this. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It's full of fairies and dreams and hopes and gorgeous Schiller. Ooh, Moonstone, yes. I, I can't get enough of this gemstone. I think it's so beautiful. And when you get something visually that excites you like this, that you, you know what, you never see. You never see the same exact shiller twice, do you? You're looking at, you look again and, and you see something different. You see red, you see blues, it's incredible. I'd make rings out of this. I want to be selfish and look at it every time I wear it. I think it's fantastic. Look at that. Oh, la, la. Don't you, they made me do a dance. At 19 pounds and 95 pence. You'll be very glad to know that on the mend is that gorgeous Hannah. Feeling better, love? Yeah. Oh, good. Feel human. Isn't it lovely when you're ill and then suddenly you feel human again? I'm on a high. I tried to kind of kind of real low, so now I feel alive. I love that oh, because good. you think you're dying, then you realise you're not and you're being dramatic. You, you had the love. 12 95 for these. Incredible. Yeah. Hannah Osborne's coming up for you next. Uh, make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that gorgeous lady. UFRU09. Hannah and Ali, also known as Hallie, coming up for you. Of course, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a great night. Now, are you ready? Do we, do we remember we were doing challenges? Yeah, we've got... Oh, good. Well done. Because we have been having a bit of a laugh in between, haven't we? Yeah, sort of. Now, you've got to grab these uh, wonderful moonstones. Let's go over. I've got Barbie arms, look. Them. Not, not the size and all. Um, now, what are you up to? I've just pinched this chain. I just want to see. Are you still doing off. it? Where is it? It's here, on the desk. Should I talk? I'll talk about... You she's doing something. Off. She's doing something. Uh, no, yeah. the challenge was the amazing pendants, which I'll show one, you. There's one left. Yeah, there's three of these, and we gave them to Frankie to work with for the first time. Now, in between, we have been having a few moments where you and I have been quite full of the hysterics. Sort of. You could say that. We could say that, couldn't we? Uh, but we're all right now, and we're finished. We're all good. We're all happy. Do you get the idea? I'm getting it. I love it. I lo that's exactly what I wanted to do with it, actually. I know, that's... Let's have a look. Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous. So if you just show it to you, yeah, let's Tom it. Tom Taru. Just, oh, can I finish it off after? And... Yeah, yeah, absolutely you can. How long have we got? We've got a minute and a half. Not time to... Not no, no, I only need to fasten that oh, on there. I... That's gorgeous. Let me have a look. We could put it against the bus. We haven't got a white one, though. There we are. Oh, that is gorgeous. That would look nice for what Ali's wearing. She looks a bit Saturday night. Well done, Ali. I couldn't resist those gorgeous garnets again. Have you noticed? Oh, and I did notice, <laughs> yes. They were from the kit, Frankie's kit. Incredible, Ooh, incredibly you. beautiful. Is that for Hannah or for me? OK. Everyone's waving. They're going. Oh, Do you bye. know what? They've left the sandwiches, which I love them for, because oh, it means that yes. you will be fed all night. Wait, I'm hungry. Go and get some, Ali. Go and get yourself a platter. 9 95 Ali's coming in for the sandwiches. 
She's coming in for the sandwiches. sandwiches. Yeah. Keep, keep. Get in there. Get how's, in there. How's that, Jim? There we go. There we go. She's with Gemma over here. Look. She's gone. That's that's the sandwich, Dash. Go, go, go. She needs fattening up, doesn't she? Go on. Is that all right? Gorgeous. I love. Actually, it looks really nice with that chain. Yeah, you could. Well, you could it? put that. On. Yes, you could. That's good. That's beautiful. So it is. Thank you so much for joining us today. We've had a wonderful time. When are you back, Frank Noodle? Not until the end of next month. The end of January? The 29th of January. Crikey. Oh, well, we better have some fun then. We better have some fun. Thanks uh, to you all. It's been incredible having your company here today. Don't forget the wonderful Ali and the outstandingly gorgeous Hannah Osborne. Coming up for you. She's been poorly. She's got some beautiful designs to show you and some great deals throughout the night. Well, I'll be back very first thing in the morning um, So with Linda and then we got Fleur. Bye, darlings. Bye. I like working with Kamihimo because it's um, a very mobile craft. I can take it with me to various different places and work on it on the go. Um, it's got endless patterns that you can create with lots of varied materials which jewellery makers sell in abundance. So things like our satin cords and waxed cords, but we can use ribbons and wire as well. Um, and I like the product because um, that it's sort of something that all ages can do. So from the very young, my children enjoy making Kamihimo braids, right through to people who might have some sorts of dexterity problems because it's very easy, there's nothing heavy to move. Um, and you get into a real zone of sort of peaceful tranquility while doing it. Um, and it just takes you to another place and you just get lost in the moment of making Kamihimo. When shopping with Jewellery Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge.